Hello, and welcome to Alma, Missouri. Now today, we are going to be harvesting our corn and our soybeans, and probably doing a little bit of baling of some soybean straw. Yeah, um, as you guys can see, we are very low on money. Um, I <laughs> don't know how I'm going to be able to pay these workers, but um, once they get here, I will definitely be... Um, Telling them that they're gonna be getting paid, but I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't think I'll be able to pay them. Shh! Don't tell them. I'm not, I'm not gonna tell them that until they're done. But regardless, we need to get this harvest done so that way we can get crop in these bins, and then hopefully last until it is sell time. Because yeah, we're we're gonna be owing the bank some money by the time it is uh, sell time. But you know what? That's a problem. For future 4b the problem for 4b now is that we need to get harvest done before it rains so let's shut up give those workers a call make sure that they're here and uh get to work as per norm by now we are uh in the stiger running the grain cart and as soon as I start talking, they are already full. Yeah, the uh, wild goose chase has begun already. Now, let's see if we can keep up and hopefully get this field done, which it shouldn't take too long. It wasn't too bad last time with just one harvester. So now the fact that we have two, this is going to be pretty quick and pretty easy, I would say, at least. And there we go. Come on. Get unloading. There you go, bud. Uh, it should be pretty quick, pretty simple, pretty easy. And then we... Yeah, we'll probably run two harvesters on the soybean field just to save time, I guess you could say. All right. But now it is time for me to, well, fight with my uh, harvesters. So... Let's get to harvesting, I guess. Oh, we were not able to make it all the way around before we got full. And wow. Um, <laughs> I forgot how heavy corn is. This Steiger is struggling. Ooh, that is the hardest I've ever seen this Steiger pull. Just trying to get started going back up that hill. And yet yeah, we are losing speed rapidly going up this hill come on little guy you can do it i mean you're not even that little come on you should this this should be a cakewalk for you our first load of corn is going in the bin um hopefully hopefully uh there is a great demand for one of the things that we have in the bins sometime soon or we just get really lucky and are able to sell and the price gets high before it usually does i don't know <laughs> i'm at the point where i'm just i'm just kind of hoping that we could start making money guys because yeah i had this being three hundred and seventy thousand dollars in debt is uh really really bothering me i'm not gonna lie guys we are on load number two for the day and yeah i was i was definitely correct um it is not gonna take any time at all to uh actually go and get this field done with two combines running it is kind of kind of nice i guess after the uh marathon harvest we've had the last two fields so yeah it's kind of a nice change of pace i guess we'll we will definitely be beating that rain today for sure really real you, you you know i'm not gonna get mad if you get a little bit of cab corn on right I, <sighs> we had like 10 more feet to go you could have made it you very easily could have made it I tell you what, workers these days. 
They always seem to be a little bit afraid of, or they, they seem to be very afraid of getting any bit of cab corn. I don't know. I may... Oh, no, that field's not that big. Eh, no, we'll just, we'll just have both of them harvest that field. Yeah. Get it knocked out real quick, and then we can get all that straw bailed up before it rains. That'll be the smart thing to do. Because, you know, we've been really smart on this farm the whole entire time that we have owned it. Yeah. Yeah, something like that, right? Ooh, are we going to be close enough? Ooh, come on. Oh, yeah, stretch that pipe over the corn. All right, all right. How much corn are we going to accidentally knock down? Not too much. That's all right. It's all, it'll be fine. Because maybe what? Five liters? Ten liters of corn? Oh, come on. Come on. That's close enough. There we go. Okay, so now we're at like 15 liters of corn knocked down. But you know what? Hey, hey, I don't have to drive all the way around. It's saving money in the end. All right. We're not wasting the fuel to drive all the way down there. Thank you for not making me run all the way down there. You got close enough this time. Well, we are almost done with this field. Uh, we aren't getting the amount of corn that I was expecting, but you know, it, I gotta say my numbers are a little messed up. You could say, because I got kind of used to harvesting those two big fields and well the yield that we get off those fields because of their size is you know a lot more but that's literally just due to the size of the fields i think we're going to end up with roughly i want to say 120,000 liters which should be enough to uh get us out of debt but i don't i don't exactly know for sure it's it's going to be tight guys it's really going to be tight well, we are done with our cornfield. We uh, just dropped off the last little bit. We're gonna go over here, run through the grass, get the uh, semi parked over by the soybean field, jump in some of the harvesters, or one of the harvesters, bring it back, get the header switched out, move everything around, and get to start, or get started on getting this field done because the rain is coming in did not take us very long at all to get this field done. And I think it only took us like an hour and a half, roughly. And we shouldn't need the Steiger or the grain cart, so we can probably park that back at the field. Or not at the field. Take it out of the field and put it at the farm. So yeah, I'm going to get all that done. And uh, I'll see you guys whenever we start harvesting our soybeans. We have the workers harvesting the uh, soybeans. They're dropping straw for us. I don't expect us to really be doing too much. I think they're still working. Yeah, that's them way down there. Yeah, I, so they're still moving, so we should be good. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, let's see how well this pans out. Well, that first combine nearly made it all the way around before getting full. That is kind of nice means the yield is going to be pretty decent. And I like the fact that we now have a grass field right there. So we can actually drive through it without having to destroy crop, which is a nice thing. I'm not going to lie. I, lo I love how resilient grass is. Now, hopefully we get better results with our hay off of the grass field than we did with the alfalfa field, but that we'll we'll figure that part out later. Right now, we just need to get this harvest done before this rain gets here, and hopefully get everything bailed up. I'm gonna be honest; I got a little tired of waiting around for those combines to fill up, so I ran over here to the farm, and I'm gonna jump in the baler, and I'm gonna start bailing up that field. We might be able to actually get a uh, alfalfa bale out of this. Maybe, potentially, and uh, have a nice little extra alfalfa bale, but 
we start getting everything bailed up now we can hopefully get get it to where our uh bales aren't going to be getting in the harvester's ways but yeah you, you know how well that's going to work out probably probably just going to make a mess but you know what why not well i was able to almost finish up our headlands before the combines filled up again now we just need to go fill up the back of this trailer and i think we're gonna need to unload it in all actuality yeah we might actually need to go unload it first before we get back to bailing hopefully now i'm saying this hopefully um we will actually be able to get this field done before it starts raining it's uh, it's gonna be tight we're gonna have to really hustle on getting the bales done all right we are full. We did not get to empty out that last combine, but it is what it is. We'll uh, get it whenever it fills up next time, if it fills up next time. Now we need, this is gonna be the difficult part because this is kind of a tight squeeze. Oh yeah, I should probably open up the cover since uh, one of you guys told me that I'm, I'm not allowed to, uh, you know, empty my trailer without my cover open. Here we go. Uh, there we go. Oh, this is going to be really tight to get in here. Okay, that appears to be working just fine. All right, cool. Soybeans are going in the new bin. Do we, do we have any leaks? We should probably check to see if we have any leaks. All right, all right, all right. No leaks that I see. All right, sweet. Means are going to work out just fine. And here I was thinking that I was being smart and actually putting the bales down somewhere where they wouldn't be hit. Yeah, they're actually bumping into the bales down here because they need to apparently run down here. I think I'm going to tell these guys to go home and I'll just finish off this field myself because, well, there's, there's not much left to do. So, okay, you are going away now and uh yeah we will finish up this harvest real quick and it's a bailing hopefully it does not start raining here before too long i will say this though after spending most of the year in the uh the the steiger running the arger wagon it feels kind of nice to uh finish off the season in the uh harvester itself it's a little bit bumpy. Uh, I, w I will say that. But you know what? It is nice. It is nice in here. So we have finished up all of our harvest for the year. It's kind of nice. Um, I'm really not even going to uh, rush taking these two combines back to the house. You know what? If they have to sit out in the rain, um, I'm pretty sure that this ground is solid enough that we can drive through whenever it is raining, but uh, we definitely need to get this straw put up in bales before the rain comes because, well, you don't, you don't want wet straw in bales, all right? It's just a recipe for disaster. Well, I am pretty sure that, ooh, I need to drop these bales off first. Oh, yep, there's the rain. Now, today is gonna be the day that we have been waiting for, all right? It is sell day, guys. Yeah, you heard that right. It is sell day. We are $22,000 in the hole right now. And, well, uh, we need to sell our bales off. At least some of them. Because, uh, well, we'll be selling off, I'd say, 90% of them. We need to keep some around because, well, one, it is cold out. So we need bedding for the cattle. And two, uh, we need straw for feed. So we need to save some of it, but it is starting to snow, guys. So it's it's gonna be one of those days. I feel like we always have to sell in the snow, but at least it hasn't accumulated yet. So that's gonna be a major bonus. But I'm gonna run back, grab the last of our soybean straw bales and then we'll start selling off our normal straw bales. So let's get into a sell day, guys. Let's get out of debt. Well, guys, we are out of debt. 
and well i mean tech, we're out of debt that we owed for to, the bank account's positive there we go that's the better way to put it um so i talked to the guy over there that's buying all the bales and they said that instead of backing in and you know doing the austin powers turn every time that we go and leave we can just uh auto load the bales onto the trailer like and then load them and then strap them up and then they'll just quickly take them off as we drive through and i can cut around his building so that's gonna save us some time i just uh i just hope that's gonna be worth it because well we need to get out of debt because i have a great big idea planned whether or not it's gonna be worth it that that's the other issue i don't know because well um it's it, it's gonna take some startup cost all right and well i don't you don't know what exactly that startup cost is gonna be because uh well it's 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 kind of risky but i know we're gonna be making more money on it so hopefully we will make enough money for to at least start that idea this winter i don't know Ooh, you guys are getting big i need to get you guys sold off too I guess we're selling everything today. It has taken us most of the morning, but we now have our last load of bales to sell. And I am so happy. Oh, dear Lanta, I am so happy. If, if, if I never have to deal with bales again, it'll be too soon. Oh, this is been so much driving i don't think you guys understand all right come on get these sold off come on there we go all right we've made oh i want to say roughly two hundred thousand dollars off of our bales which is pretty nice um it's getting us even closer to having our loan paid off, I think we still need another... We need to double what we have right now, so another 180000 We should really easily be able to get that off of our uh, cereal crops from here on out. So we might be able to afford what I want to do. Um, and we may hold on to our corn, depending on uh, prices. We, we might get a, a dryer, too. I don't know. I, uh, I hear that dry corn sells for a pretty decent price, but I don't, I don't want, I'm tired of gambling and it not paying off, I guess you could say, but I know the, the gamble that I'm going to take for sure is definitely going to pay off and it's really going to make us more money, but I'm, I'm also going to check on that later on. I, I've done a little bit more research as I've been selling things off and I think it's going to work but I don't know. I, I really don't. Well, I, I I knew that we would be living in this semi today and I'm okay with it because we're making money, but uh, we now have the oats set up, ready to go. And uh, you know what? We may take a risk today and I'm gonna go run inside, check the markets, and we may end up renting a train today. There's potential, but I don't exactly know where we need to sell these off at, so I gotta go give everybody a call, and then we're gonna get our oats sold off first, cause that's what's gonna make us the most money. And then uh, from then on out, we will get everything else sold off as needed. I'm not exactly sure. I think we're supposed to put it in here. Oh sweet, our train's here. So we're gonna end up taking all of this to uh, on the train, and I think it's going to Sedalia or or wherever the name of it is uh, We're going to be selling all of our oats and all of our uh, rye to Sedalia all in one big go so actually I, I I Didn't need to order the train this early, but I did I, You know what? I, I guess I was just happy to you know be ordering a train. I guess you could say uh, Yep, there's the button so I, I hope, I hope that, that this all pays off, which it should, if the math work, if the math math 
then then it should work. But we all know what happens whenever 4B tries to do math. Uh, it, it, it usually ends up being wrong. So, you know what? We're, we're just going to run with it. Hopefully we make the most amount of money that we can, but I don't, I don't know. Because, you know, it'd be really nice to finally... Ooh, I am in town. I should not have that on. Let's hit that Jake break button. There we go. Yeah, okay, Jake breaks off. I really, I really don't want everybody in town being mad at me for having the Jake break on. All right. Ooh, better not speed through here. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's go get all of our products and get it in there and then get it on the train. It didn't take too long, but it took a lot of trips. We finally got all the oats moved over. Now we're gonna start moving all of our rye over, or not? Yeah, rye. And uh, hopefully, oh no, I'm gonna hit that auger. All right. Once we get this finally positioned correctly, we start filling up. There we go. Uh, we should be able to get everything moved over. And, uh, well, we might be buying some new equipment to, or no, not even equipment. I guess, I guess it would be, uh, some buildings. Yeah, we might. I don't know. I'm, I'm still really on the fence about it, guys. I don't know what I should do. I really don't want to spend the money that we just earned. So we are on our last load of rye. It has taken us a little bit longer. As you guys can see, snow has formed on the ground and well. Oh, we are we are full. All right, so we need to start loading up the. Uh, se or not semi. <laughs> The train, let's get over here, get you loading up. All right, cool. So we should be able to fit more rye in here now. And we might actually have to run multiple. Yeah, we might actually have to run multiples. Okay, so now that is unloading. All right, so we should be getting out of debt here before too long. I, I hope. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so let's get up here. Ooh, we're definitely gonna have to uh, get more. Um, yeah, we're, we're, yeah. Oof, this is. I wonder how many trains it's gonna take. Cause, uh, yeah, we are. Uh, we're definitely gonna fill this train up with just the rye. Ah, uh, I did not expect that one at all. Okay, so. Yep, let's get that cover open. All right, let's fill up the train. So we have our... Se our why do I keep wanting to say semi? We have our train filled up to the brim. We have all of our rye in here. So we're going to be selling off all of our rye at the same time. And then we're going to need to rent another train after this. So, yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is going to be kind of fun. You know, hopefully, hopefully this cell right here will get us completely out of debt. And then all of our oats will be just profit. No, I don't think I've ever actually been to this side. Huh, I like it. Yes. Sweet. I think that was all the money for our, uh, I think. I don't have to call the bank, but that, that should be enough. All right, now to run back and get another train coming. All right, let's go fill up train number two. So our second train is here. And well... We, we're, we're, we're down to $13,000 again, which was kind of depressing. I'm not going to lie, guys. That, that, that made me kind of sad seeing all that money just disappear. It, uh, it, 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 uh, can't believe we spent that much money this year. But this whole entire train 
right now will be all profit. And, well, I've talked to some people and they say that the uh, corn dryer is something that we should definitely be doing. So, I guess once we get all of this sold off, we'll be uh, getting the corn dryer, moving the corn over. But I'll probably be doing that off camera. Probably. I don't know. I, I really don't know right now. I'm uh, <laughs> currently trying to... Oh, just stop. Thank you. All right, there we go. I'm going to worry about that later. And right now we're just going to worry about getting some money in the bank account because, well, we need money. All right. I am I am sick and tired of not having any money at all. So, yeah, we're just going to go get all this sold off again. I'll see you when we get down there and when we make the sell. All right. This is all profit. How much are we going to make? Ooh, we're at $317,000. Ooh, we almost made 26 grand for our environmental score on that. All right, so one long cold walk back and uh, we might be going and buying a corn dryer. Let's get to it. Well, the sun's going down, it's still snowing. Man, it snows way too much here. All right, let's get this bought. Building has been purchased. All right. Let's get back in the truck. It is really cold outside. And uh, I will start moving over all the corn tomorrow. Now today, we're gonna be doing some planting and uh, saving some money. Well, we spent a little bit of money so we could save some money. As you guys can see, we now have a Power Push Plus with a manure spreader on the back. Yeah, that's right guys. We're gonna be spreading some manure today on the field that is going <sighs> my boots already stink oh well um on the field that is going to be our uh cornfield which is the very far field um the big big field yeah i don't know exactly why i want to do that as a cornfield again but you know what we're gonna do it it is cold out um our other cornfield has already been plowed everybody has bedding so now all we need to do is sit in a cab today which i'm gonna go do because it is very cold out and uh spread some manure so oh and probably spread some uh, some lime yeah that that'd probably be a smart thing to do is we did end up having to buy some lime because we were almost out and we definitely did not have enough to get through the year so i'm gonna go spread some manure this is definitely a uh problem i've never encountered um i really can't tell where i'm spreading by the time it all gets spread out in this uh stubble it 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 all looks the same and it's it's the same color uh well you know what we're just we're just trying to get it spread out so that way we can put down less fertilizer i guess so a bonus I guess I don't I don't know I, <laughs> I I I've never had this happen before all right uh, but I'll tell you what the old white's handling it pretty well luckily I do have a uh like I do have my map up and my map is letting me know where I have spread and if I've missed any spots but still even then it's uh it's a little discouraging not being able to see where I'm spreading uh and worrying yeah I've, all right you know what we're just we're just gonna run with it we're just gonna run with it right now we are on our third load of manure and we're actually doing pretty good on making a dent in the field um and it's not a lot of nitrogen that we're able to put down unfortunately uh, we just don't have the volume to uh, put it down pretty thick. But the little bit that we are putting down is definitely going to be saving us some money in the long run. Um, I really wish it would quit snowing. It is starting to mess with my eyes. But you know what? Instead of sitting in the house and doing nothing, I, I'd much rather just be outside, you know, doing something for the farm try and uh, save us some money and or make us some money 
And in this instance, I think we're kind of doing both because, well, we're putting down fertilizer for our field and we are also saving ourselves some money because this is free fertilizer, I guess. And just the uh, benefit of, you know, actually having a feedlot. And it's also cleaning up things around the farm. So it's making the farm look a little bit better too. So I really can't complain too much. Unfortunately, the snow has seemed to accumulate a little bit, which doesn't make my life any easier. Um, as of right now, uh, we are mainly running purely off of our, uh, our, our map and not doing a very good job at it, as you guys have seen. Right, if you guys look down there, you guys can see all the red spots that we've missed. Um, but you know what? I wish that the manure would, you know, actually show up in the snow, but beggars can't be choosers. Uh, so we're going to be running blind for the rest of the day. And I was going to spread some lime today, but I don't think that is going to be an option because as of right now, uh, can be a little bit difficult to see it so uh we'll we'll do that tomorrow hopefully the uh snow has melted away by tomorrow i don't foresee that happening but you know what maybe it will warm up and the snow will go away but that is gonna be it like the last you're gonna see of february at least like we're not done for the day um yeah i'm just going to really focus on trying to get this field done we are most of the way done we just have well if i could if it wasn't just a white wasteland all right let's just pop this up okay as you guys can see we have just the uh returning little tip to the house and the little bit left of this field so hopefully we'll have enough manure to get it done if not oh well it'll be fine but yeah i'm gonna get that knocked out and i'll see you guys in the morning well, I like this weather a lot better. It is 49 degrees out. It is beautiful out. And we still, well, well we still have the cattle here, but that's not going to be here for too long, hopefully. Uh, we also need to get our lime spread. And I think we're just going to plant our oats today because oats are ready to go. Well, not ready to, but like it's time to put oats in the ground. Um... And then next time we'll get our corn and our soybeans planted and maybe, maybe even be selling off our dried corn and our soybeans from last year. So yeah, I, I think that's going to work out well, maybe potentially. I don't in all actuality. I don't know. I'm just kind of spitballing right now. All I know is that all the federal, all the federal, all the cattle have been fed. Wow, did I really just put cattle and fed together? You know what? English, it's it's not totally not my primary language. It it is. I just I just don't want to admit it. Um so yeah, I'm gonna go jump in what which track do we feel like taking today? Uh you know what? We haven't taken you out in a while. So we're gonna jump in the 7250 and go spread some lime. After we put fuel in it as well, I just noticed that the fuel's a little, little low. I just got a call from one of the neighbors that I was not expecting. Um, they noticed us spreading our uh, manure out on this field last month, and uh, they noticed how long it took us. And well, apparently they have a bigger manure spreader just laying around that they are willing to sell us or actually not sell us like they don't need it they they need something smaller they want something smaller because they don't have as big of an operation i guess or as big of fields to do and i don't i don't know why i really didn't ask questions but all i gotta do is trade my like we're gonna trade across and then i just gotta pay them like five or six thousand dollars to to get it that's all they want on top of it. I mean, we just bought that manure spreader, but I, I don't know, guys. 
I feel like I should do it. I I think I'm gonna do it. The more the more that I'm sitting here thinking about it, because it's almost twice as big and it spreads twice as far. I I feel like this is one of those opportunities that even though I know I'm trying to save money right now, I have to jump on. So I guess we're going to be getting a new manure spreader. I just got to empty out ours. All right. Well, um, I, I guess we'll do that after we uh, go ahead and finish spreading out at least this whole entire uh I don't uh, the spreader's worth of lime. Huh. I don't know. It's just, you know what? Sometimes I'm, uh, sometimes I feel like I'm lucky. I, I, I really do. All right. So I think we're going to go swap out for that trailer. I, I got to do it guys. I really do. Um, it's with the size that it is, I think we're going to need to take the MX and, uh, well, the white? Yeah, it's it's not going in my shop. All right. That thing smells terrible. And uh, yeah, no, um, we're going to wait till either one, it rains or two. I figure out where I put the power washer. I I, I could have swore we had one. I just don't remember where I put it. Maybe it's in the shed back there. Huh, I don't know. But regardless, that is not going in my shop. Um, that smell will never come out of the shop if it does. So I'm going to go pick up our uh, new manure spreader and then I'll be right back and I'll show it off to you guys. That took a little bit longer than I expected. Uh, we got to talk in a little bit, but no, we ended up with the Farm Tech Fortis 3000. I don't know why it's 3000 because it holds like 45,000 liters and spreads at 12 meters. But no, I <laughs> guys, I think we made one heck of an upgrade for I think it only cost us sixty five hundred dollars roughly. So yeah, I think I think we we made out like bandits on this one. Let's uh turn this off and then let's go take a look at it. See you guys, <laughs> this thing is massive. Oh, this is going to be nice whenever it comes to well, next winter. And we got to spread our manure again. No, this is this is going to be nice. Definitely, especially since I do plan on getting more cattle this time. Uh, once we sell off all three pens, we should have enough. We should make enough from all three pens to buy another pen and or not to buy another pen, but to buy another pen full of cattle. If not, oh, well. We'll uh, dip into the bank a little bit to uh, get that. But I do plan on expanding out the feedlot operation, maybe potentially getting into some uh, Holsteins and doing some milking. But you know what? I'll, I'll worry about that later. Right now, I really want to focus on the feedlot as well. I grew up on a feedlot. I, it's, it's, it's home. But right now, I am reminiscing. We need to get back to spreading some lime. Let's go spread some lime. We are on our third load, which, you know, we didn't even have enough for, well, before we sold off everything, we didn't even have enough lime left in the tank for half of this uh, trailer. So thankfully we got everything sold off during this winter and we are actually able to buy some lime. Now, my next worry is going to be whether or not we have enough fertilizer, which hopefully we should have enough solid fertilizer, considering that the only field that we are going to need solid fertilizer for is the field that we have yet to lime, because that is a field that the oats are going in. And if I remember right, oats aren't heavy on fertilizer and the big field is going to be liquid because that is what the uh, trailer or planter uses so we should be good there we have like forty-four thousand liters of that i'm just hoping that we can kind of I, I don't know how i want to say it we can kind of just scoot by this year and get 
get along with what we have and not have to really buy much even though yes i know we just bought that uh manure spreader but that that was dirt cheap like let's be honest guys you you would have bought it too don't 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 act all high and mighty to me i know you would have bought it too but we have one field left to uh lime and then we will go hook up the MX to the planter and we will get the oats in the ground. Then we should be done for the day. We're back in the MX and uh, well, time to go put some oats in the ground because we are done spreading all the lime that we need to spread. And man, that grass field is looking gorgeous. Oh, I feel like we did. I feel like we I, I really feel like we did the right thing changing that over to grass because well let's be honest that looks way better than it did with alfalfa don't it let's hope that it let's hope it yields better but you know what that is a problem for next time right now we need to worry about making sure everything is good on this field so we can get a great yield with these oats well some things never change i feel like all we ever do is put fertilizer in this that's, I, I swear that's all we do. You know, just to, just just to mix it up a little bit, we're gonna put some seeds in there. We don't need any seeds in here, but uh, we're definitely gonna put some in here. Well, okay, maybe we needed a little bit more than I thought we did. Eh, oh well. But uh, we're just gonna finish up this field. We have more than plenty solid fertilizer, so we should be good there. Um, hopefully. When it comes time to sell our dry corn and our soybeans, hopefully we'll be able to make enough money to actually afford getting some um, actual fertilizer because we I think we could only buy like 10,000 liters after last sell. So, yeah, let's let's hope that 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 we can have that happen. All right, because that's what we're mainly needing right now. And that's also why we are going and spreading our manure now we just got done filling up the case mx with our uh well our early riser on the back and we need to get something bigger because i am not looking forward to this field but we have the demco tanks up front so that should make life a little bit easier to say the least but we should be able to go a little bit farther um i think our main issue now is probably gonna be seeds yeah but you know what eh, we're not gonna worry about it but we need to go and get our biggest field I, I think it's our biggest field one of our biggest fields that's yeah that that'd be a safer bet it's one of our biggest fields i haven't measured that field and the backfield so i don't know but regardless we need to get that planted in corn because we're now doing dry corn and well if I'm going to be doing dry corn, I want to make it to where we are, you know, actually doing a lot of it because it it does sell for a pretty good price. So, yeah, we're going to be making our biggest field. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is our biggest field. I'm just going to go with our biggest field, corn. So, yeah, I, yeah I, you know what? I'm just going to quit rambling and we're just going to get into it. Also, we're going to go through a few months this time and uh, we're going to get corn done today soybeans done and then we might be selling our dried corn I don't know yet so stick around hang out let's 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 figure out what happens together so we finished up our first headland we are now working on our second so we have enough room to turn everything around and I'll be honest we're not going through as much seed as I thought we were but we're definitely not going through as much fertilizer as I know we would have been going through. So I guess the uh, manure spreading is doing its job, which I mean, it, it should have been, but no, it's always nice to actually see a plan come together whenever it comes to saving money because it, paying the rent for these two fields right here, um, yeah, I, that's that's gonna be the death of this farm. I I have a feeling. Uh, we we need to make enough money to buy both of these fields, so that way we can start, you know, 
actually making a net profit every year. So let's hope that, you know, this year is the year. So we're done with our first set of, all right, come on, get up there. It's our first, or not our first, but our second set of headlands. We're gonna go get some seeds in here. So that way we can actually start um, getting this whole entire field planted. But I figured, you know what? We're already up here near the pickup. Let's put some seeds in it. I mean, come on, let's be honest. This is a uh, pretty common sight around here anymore. You, you okay over there, Pallet? You, you good, bud? So we're actually getting through this field a little bit quicker than I thought we would, which is kind of surprising because I don't remember it taking us, you know, just half a day to do the field last time. Maybe that was because we had to stop and fill up fertilizer all the time. I don't know, but or actually, no, I think it's because we were just using the other equipment and we weren't able to go, you know, nine or no, we can't go nine miles an hour. Why did it take us so long to plant this field last time? Cause I know it took us like a full day. Oh yeah, no, never mind. I remember it's because we were using an articulated tractor with pulling two trailers essentially. Yeah. Yeah, well, see, this normal planting setup? Yeah, we're able to fly through this field. It is not as bad as I remember it being. Yeah, we are, we're, we're kind of just flying through it. I love it. I was hoping that we would be able to get all the way done with the field because, well, it, it looked like we could do it with, with the amount of seed that we had. But yeah, we're definitely not gonna do it. <laughs> So I, I feel like it is tradition at this point. We have to go get seeds to finish up a field. I, I don't know how I always do it this way, but apparently this is the way that I like to farm. I like to, you know, just have enough seeds to make me think I can get there and then run out right at the end. I don't know, just, just the way it works sometimes, I guess. I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting to be done with this field by 1.30 in the afternoon. I, I was not. Now I could go and spray our oat field, but I'm gonna wait to spray our oat field because weeds will be growing up in this field tomorrow. So why don't we just spray weeds then? Right? I, I, I think that'd be a smart decision. Let's go get my uh, tiny little strip that I missed. I know I missed one back here. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I missed one. Did I? No, I'm just, you know, oh, I did. I, I knew I did. I, see, I'm not going crazy. You're, you're the one that's going crazy. See, I, I totally knew I missed this spot. There we go. And we have half of our planting done and none of our spraying done. So let's go take a nap. Go check through the cattle, see how the cattle are doing. See how they're handling the warm up. And uh, I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We go to plant the soybeans in that field. Well, I decided to take the 7150 off of the uh, feed wagon. And uh, I figured, you know what? We don't take the 7150 out anymore. So uh, why not take it out and uh, spray the weeds with it? I mean, it it has this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, those look like skinny tires. Yeah, we're good. It, it, they, they won't hurt anything. Well, that didn't take too long. We got all of our weeds sprayed. It's about 10 o'clock and uh, well, Cattle are looking awesome. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I, th I think it's getting close to time to sell them. I really think it's starting to get close to time. But we're not gonna worry about that right now. We are going to worry about getting our soybeans in the ground. I left everything hooked up, guys. Don't judge me. I know we don't need fertilizer, but eh, I like the look. I must say, I am greatly concerned 
with how easy everything is going right now, um, <laughs> it, uh, I, 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 I feel like something should be going wrong, but nothing has gone wrong today or yesterday and everything is just flowing smoothly. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm nervous for what is in, in our future. Um, <laughs> this is kind of making me uncomfortable, but yet I'm excited that things are going right for once. And just like that, we're done planting for now. Next thing that should be happening, I think, is our rye field being done. And selling off our uh, uh, dry corn, which we, we potentially could have done today, but... You know what? I really want to wait till it gets to the high price to sell it. So, you know what? We're just going to go relax. The cattle have yet to eat all of their feed. It looks like I need to go and uh, figure out a place to move all the manure to. So I may end up doing that today. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. And you know what? I think we might be getting some new balers. Yeah, I kind of want to update them. I... You know what? They're getting old. They're getting a little worn out. I... I think it'll be... I think it's time. I think it's time. Hello! And welcome to Alma, Missouri. Now today, guys, it's going to be kind of a busy yet awesome day. We are selling our soybeans and we're going to be selling our dried corn as well. But on top of that, it is time to harvest our rye. And well, if I learned anything from the last time, I'm going to need to sell before I harvest because, well, I, I need to give all of my attention to this harvest just to keep up with our uh, harvesters. So we're going to go make some money, which, as you can see, we desperately need and uh then we're gonna go and uh get some harvesting done how's that sound to you guys hopefully you like it because that's what we're doing let's get into it 49 650 for just the front half of the trailer Woohoo we yeah that that i'll take that i will happily take that that is that is some good money i am not gonna lie all right, and 49,660 for the back half. Perfect. All right, let's go get the last little bit and then we'll start transferring all of our dried corn over to the silo here for it to go on the train so we can go to Sedalia or... You know what? I was told that I pronounced it wrong last time and now I'm afraid to pronounce it. So it, it, it's, it's just going on the train. We go we are selling off the last of our soybeans and we might we might break 160 nope so we got 49 746 for our front hopper which is which is good now it's time to go get all of our uh drag corn and that's where we're going to make most of our money because we have more drag corn than we did soybeans even though soybeans are selling at a higher price so yeah we're gonna be making a fairly decent amount of money off of those and the best part is it's gonna be a short trip because all we gotta do is come from right here to right over there so yeah it's gonna be pretty easy to get oof oof got a little bit too close scrape the curb there we go all right drag corn there we go 5,000 bushels. Holy cow. That's a lot of dried corn. All right. Well, I'm going to get all this corn moved over. Get that train here. And then we're going to get everything sold off. Let's get to it. So we just went and rented our train. And now we just got to wait for it to show up. Then we'll get it filled up with dried corn. And then we'll get it all sold off. Hopefully we don't have to rent two trains, but I think we might. If I remember right, this train doesn't hold a lot, but I don't know. Let's uh let's see. I mean it took all of the grains, so I 
think we'll be good. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not for sure. I don't remember. That was a while ago when we rented the train. So I don't remember the figures. I haven't, I haven't used it enough. Well, we made it all fit on the train. Let's see how much we get. Let's, let's see if we actually get a yield bonus this time. Yes. Hey, we got an environmental score reward. So we got 310, 765 plus 31. So 342-ish. Yeah, we're almost to $500,000 today. That is awesome. We might be able to buy one of our one of those fields we're renting. We might be able to just outright buy it. I feel like we should. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in down in the uh, comments. All right, because well, I feel like we should buy them because they're they're costing us a lot of money and they're the reasons that we keep going into debt. Oh, I feel like we should. Maybe, maybe we will at the end of the day. I don't know. Oh, that's gonna have to. That's gonna have to. I'm gonna have to think about that one. I can truly say, the uh, best part about starting about 10:30 in the morning, um, I don't have to wait on the workers. They're already actually awake and out of bed, which is nice. It's really nice. Now I just have to, uh, you know, follow them around all day. Oh, this is gonna be fun. And you know what? I think I might go ahead and build a little place to start storing our manure because well i don't like that big giant pile that we keep just building on both sides oh well we'll, we'll get it figured out well i can definitely say that uh we are filling up a lot faster than what we did last time um yeah last time it was really difficult keeping up with our harvesters and this time it's gonna be even more difficult because we weren't even at 51% until we got to the other side of the, uh, yeah, um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, trust me, I'm like, I'm really happy about the, um, increase in the yield, but did you, we might, we might end up having to get a bigger Steiger that can go a little bit quicker Potentially, because, um, yeah, this, this, this old one is going to struggle to keep up. That's all I know. It's really going to struggle. You know, right as I said that, um, both harvesters got full. And now I am full on the opposite side of the field. Um, yeah, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea yeah, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get a little bit bigger Steiger and a bigger uh, grain cart. Yeah. Wait, hey, hey, you missed the spot there, dingus. <sighs> oh, I love workers. I love workers. I love workers. If I keep telling myself that, maybe I'll believe it. I, I did some searching around and Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to afford to get a uh, bigger Steiger with better brakes. Um, I wish we could, but mm, I really want to save up our money so that way we can afford to buy one of these, at least one of these fields this winter. Because as of right now, we, we can't afford to buy them, and I really wish we could. Ah, uh, dang it. Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to struggle bus our way through it today. Hopefully, uh, one will come up for sale here before too long. I, I'm not going to hold my breath on it, but you know what? It, it, it's, it's wishful thinking. Yeah, wishful thinking. I get. I think that's the best way to put it. Maybe we can get you to start unloading and stop. There we go. Now you don't have to back up and get in everybody else's way. Nice. I can definitely say that this field is performing way better than what it was before because we have two full semi loads just from the headlands. And we also have some left over in the, uh, in the, in the grain cart right now. 
Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. This is, this is gonna be fun to keep up with. What are? What is your malfunction now? Um. You know what? Um, I'm just gonna get this semi unloaded, and I'll deal with you later. Well, I can say that we're roughly halfway through the field, and well, it has been quite the struggle to keep up with everybody. Because, uh, well, I think we've already went and done four, four or five loads with the semi. And, well, running all the way down here whenever somebody's full, just to try and keep up with them as they're coming back. It's, it's, it's kind of a struggle. All right, get up here. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I don't want them to stop because if they stop and they get full, they miss places. Come on, hurry up, get up there. Ah, dang it, he left a header. Uh, I need to get a little bit closer. Dang it. All right, well, we'll get them situated. Come on, little guy. You can do it. Ugh. There we go. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's keep going. I, I was talking to the guys over at the shop and we might be having a stroke of luck, I guess. Um, I guess there's a new stagger that a guy is apparently trading in. And I don't really want to go away from the old iron, but man, a new stagger. That'd be nice. And it has a dozer blade option. Um, they just don't know how many hours are on it yet. So like they, they don't know how much of a discount they're going to have to give off of the actual um price for it so i don't know we we might we might go and get it because I'm, I'm really tired of struggling guys i'm really tired of struggling with this stagger i love it don't get me wrong i love this stagger and i really don't want to get away from the old iron but man something that's you know gonna be able to stop when i want it to stop and do everything that i ask of it that's that's a really tempting offer that i don't know if i have the strength to pass up well i i i, I as you guys can tell i i couldn't i couldn't pass it up all right i i'll be honest guys this this thing is awesome this thing is massive um but um yeah we got we got a really good price for our Steiger that we had, which I was really surprised with, especially with the hours that we have on it. And uh, now we have a uh, Steiger 420. Yeah, it's 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 nice. It has the big old LSW tires on it. Quick hitch, everything. You know, it even has the uh, Serial Compact. I don't know why it does, but we don't really truly need it. But yeah, hopefully. Hopefully these tires aren't too big and we can actually get close enough to our combines. Uh, which, speaking of our combines, they are full right now, so we need to get to moving. Uh, it's it's nice to have something with some power, but at the same time, um, I'm, I'm kind of nervous, all right? I, I really hope I didn't make a major mistake with this. I, I really hope. Well, it appears I can still get close enough to actually be able to unload the harvesters so that's good the tires aren't too big that's one thing i was kind of worried about but especially with the uh price reduction we got on this with it having 12.6 hours on it it uh it, it worked out really nice i'm not gonna lie it's i don't know i'm kind of excited to have it here but at the same time i'm kind of nervous because i know how much you guys are liking this being an old old iron farm but you know what the old iron wasn't working it really was not working it was it was creating more of a struggle than anything else and we needed to update at least one thing and i think we chose the right thing to update i was a little worried about getting this stagger i really was but now with how easily i am able to keep up with these combines I have a feeling that, you know, this was actually a pretty smart choice because instead of only being able to do, you know, 19 miles an hour, 
we're, we're able to do 19 miles an hour up the hill and 25 miles an hour whenever we get up to full speed. Which, that is... I don't, I don't think you guys understand how nice that is. Especially whenever we're pulling as much weight as we are pulling right now. It is... It is a night and day difference. I'm... I'm in love with this tiger. I'm not going to lie, guys. Now, let's go get our umpteenth load of rye put in the bin. You know, I was just sitting here thinking, and uh, I realized that this is probably going to be our last pass. We're, we're, we're actually almost done with this harvest. I mean, it's only cost me almost half a million dollars, but we're definitely not going to get that out of it. I can tell you that. But hopefully, it uh, it, it ends up well. No, I've I've been having fun with this harvest though. I'm I'm loving trying out this new stagger. It's it's amazing. But we we need to get this this harvester unloaded. So let's let's get it unloaded, I guess. And just like that, harvest is over. Yeah, we just have one more load to get in the bin, and all of our equipment to put up, and we'll be done for the day. I may, I may come, yeah, no, I'll probably come around and uh, get some bailing done. That way we can get uh, this field cleaned up. Today, we are going to be doing some, oh, let's see how that is, uh, harvesting. And we're also going to, okay, I need to go back a couple more feet. Okay. Uh, we're going to be getting our, ho our oats harvested. And then we'll be doing a little bit of bailing after that. And I also went and uh bailed up a rye field so we'll need to pick up those bales as well um we'll get all of our bales picked up then we might end up spreading a little bit of manure today because well our manure piles are 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 getting pretty pretty bad uh that, that I, I think that's the easiest way to put it they are they are getting really bad uh, we have a we have a uh, excess of manure, you could say. All right. Yeah. Oh no, I don't like the way that's set up. Uh. So I am going to get this auger fully set up, and then we're gonna get to harvesting. So stick around. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Does, does 4B actually need to take his grand cart out for this? No. No, I do not. But does, does, does 4B want to? Yes. As well. I love this stagger. Oh, this is the best upgrade we have made. But workers are here, so I'm going to get them all set up to go. And I'm going to get them going. And I'll see you when I see you. I figured while we wait on the harvesters... I come over and check the corn out and I'll be honest guys the corn looks like it is doing pretty good even here on the end rows I am I am happy about that we got some grass creeping in from from the edge but ah, you can't really stop it uh, none of the herbicides that I've been using have been able to stop it so far which you know what it is what it is but Hopefully, uh, it didn't impede all the way through the field. We'll, uh, have, we'll definitely have to check that out later on. All right. Looks like they're, uh, getting a little bit further along. Let's, let's jump back in the, uh, the old, the old Steiger and, uh, make sure that, well, we don't get left behind. Where is the other one? I should, yeah, I should probably get going. Well, that didn't take long at all. We, uh, we got a full, full combine. Cool. You know, you wouldn't have filled up so quickly if you would have actually went where I told you to and did the headland first instead of trying to do the center of the field first. You, you do realize that, bud, right? Okay, okay. As long as you realize that, see now, now you're now you're making your 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 other coworker wait on you. I'm ju I'm just saying, bud. <sighs> If only you had if only you had a brain well they are officially done with the headland i'm gonna get this grain cart unloaded and we shouldn't actually really need 
to unload again because they were at, like I'm, I'm estimating around fifty to sixty thousand liters for this field. So, uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, we'll probably take a semi and a half. That's about it. It's not a lot. It's almost. It's almost so little that we could combine our soybean field and our oat field together and make it into one field and then leave the grass field. But I really don't want to do that because I don't want to make that big of a field. Because, well, that field would, that field would hurt. That field would really hurt to harvest. I mean, that field might even end up being bigger than field, what is it? Field 10 and field one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't I don't have the proper equipment to do fields that size. So for now, we're just going to we're just going to relax on that. Uh, maybe that's a plan for the future. I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll see what th time will only tell. All right. We are on our second unload of both of the combines. We're about Oh, I want to say about halfway done with the field. And, well, it, the, the day's going by pretty quickly. We just need to bail this up. And then just because I want to put it through its paces, we may even end up spreading our uh, manure with Steiger. Just because I, I, I kind of want to see how well it handles actually being put under a good load because this particular grain cart it it doesn't really phase the steiger because of how much horsepower the steiger has um our manure spreader though it's it's gonna phase it because it it takes more horsepower than what this auger wagon does so yeah i'm i'm kind of curious on how well the steiger is going to perform i i should know that it it's going to be just fine because well it's brand new but you never know. So it, it's good to it's good to test things out like that. Well, this is definitely a pleasant surprise. I did not ex ex expect to get over sixty thousand liters of uh, oats. <laughs> hey, gotta love it whenever your uh, estimation of the harvest is less than what the actual harvest is. Oh, that's a, oh, that is a, hmm. See, I'm used to, I'm used to thinking I'm going to get more. Um, I, 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 I don't know how I feel about actually getting, you know, m more than I I expected. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm so used to, I'm, I'm, I'm so you, I, I'm kind of flabbergasted right now. I'm, I'm so used to over expecting and getting less than what i expect and now we're getting more than i expect and it it yeah we are okay you know what i'm 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 just gonna celebrate and and be happy about this let's get this semi started up and let's go and get this semi loaded because we're gonna need to come back for another load i yeah this is oh this is awesome this just made the day so much better well, how about that? We get here, and uh, they're 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 done with the field. I mean, they still miss parts, but you know what? I can't expect my workers to be, you know, really good at their job because that would be expecting too much. Is what it is, though. I can't complain. But you know what? I I wonder how much we're gonna end up with. I'm gonna guess. Round. Okay, 8,000 from this. From this one. Okay, okay. Can't complain too much about that because this is all more than what I actually expected. All right. Um, how much do you have? You have 6,000. Okay, cool. So, 8, 6, so 14, 15,000, something like that. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's a lot more than what I actually expected to get out of this field. And so I'm going to get these combines off the field, unloaded, and then I'm going to go hook up to the baler, get this field bailed up, and then we're going to go collect all the bales between this field and the rye field, probably make another bale wall, 
then we need time to spread some manure. So let me get these uh, combines moved around. You know, I, I love the new stagger. I really do. But there's something about this case that it, it just, it, it feels like home. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it just, it feels right. And I, I, I don't know. I love, the, I love the new stagger. I love the fact that I have a new, like brand new piece of equipment, but mm, this, this old case right here, this will forever be home. Well, I guess it is time to see, uh, how dear Lord, I was really wrong. Wow. Holy cow. Yeah, I was about 18,000 liters below what we actually got. Yeah, that is a, uh, a wonderful surprise. I will, I will take that surprise. It, 18,000 over is way better than 18,000 under. All right, let's, oh, never mind. Um, you know, we're, we're just gonna come over here. You know, I should really get a power washer because I feel like I really need to clean this semi in this uh, trailer. All right, come on. All right, now let's get this trailer put away so that way we can go grab our bale trailer we get the uh, wall of bales put up again. Well, we are two loads in and the wall is already starting to take shape. Um, yeah, we're, we, we've, we've barely touched just the rye field alone. Um, we haven't even gone over to the uh, oat field yet. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of bales, but luckily I'm, I'm actually kind of used to doing a lot of bales, so it'll be all right. Well, as you can see back there, we have a pretty big pile of, uh, well, we have a pretty decent wall already. And well, we are just now moving over to our oat field, which eh, we might get one or two full loads off of this field. I'm not exactly sure how many, um, I, I I'm not saying I forgot to keep count of how many bales we made, but I I definitely forgot to keep count of how many bales we made on this field. But uh yeah, we might actually Yeah, we might actually hit 240. Yeah, I, I would say 240 bales, roughly, is gonna be my estimate. Because I think right now this will be uh uh, I think roughly 120, 140. Yeah, 120, 140 bales, roughly. So, yeah, this, or no, actually, this will be the 160th that we've picked up. So, yeah, we, we got, we got a couple bales. Yeah, it's nothing like the uh, absolute mammoth of a pile of, you know, 300 and 300 plus that we had last time, but hey. You know what? I'll, I'll take what I can get. It's just been a day of surprises. We got pretty much, I want to say pretty much three loads off that, um, that whole entire field. So that's a hundred, that's 200. So we got 213 bales. So I was a little, I was a little low on the amount of bales that I thought we were going to get, which that's fine. I, I'm used to guessing low. So let's get these off here. All right, they are offloaded. That is all of our straw for this year. So we're gonna take this truck, drop off, or actually we're not even gonna unhook the trailer. We're just gonna leave it on the trailer for now because I kind of want to go get in that Steiger. All right, I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to go get in that Steiger. And it is already hooked up to the manure spreader. So, yeah, it's it's time to go, go sling some manure. Let's get to it. Oh, yeah. I figured I should take at least one last whiff in here before, uh, you know, the, the new cab smell is completely ruined. 
because, well, um, I have a feeling that after today, uh, yeah, it's, it's not going to smell like a new cab anymore. It, it's most definitely not going to smell like a new cab anymore. All right, so turn this on. Let's get to work with this manure spread. There we go. All right. Now, uh, just slowly go around this whole entire field and get all the manure spread out. So this will be our third, yeah, our third load of manure. And the, the, the pile hasn't changed. Um, just watch. I think, I think we have the, uh, infinite, um, manure pile now. Uh, and now that I say that, it's probably, oh, nope. Okay, never mind. We have, we have finally caught up with all the excess manure that has been stored in the pens that haven't been able to go to the pile. Uh, but, um, all I'm going to be doing is, you know, spreading manure. You guys have seen me do that quite a few times. And, uh, well, in all honesty, I, I don't want to get you guys smelling, you know, bad, for, like, first thing in the new year, okay? Like, I, I, I would feel really bad if I made you guys smell like manure first thing in the year. Now, today, we are... We're gonna be very busy, okay? We are gonna be mowing the grass field, putting it in the silage bunker, making some silage, and on top of that, we are going to be going around and pretty much taking out as much of the uh, silage, or not silage, but uh, corn out of the cornfield as we need to fill up the silage bunker. And that's right. We're, we're going to fill up the silage bunker. I figured, you know, we got the Steiger. It can push a lot of heavy weight. And the cows seem to be eating a lot more. So, yeah. And it doesn't help that I, I may or may not be a little bit overcautious right now because we are out of silage. And, um, well, I don't like ever running out. Okay. I always like to have a little bit excess on hand. And, well, uh, yeah. We're, 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 you know, we're just, we're just going to play it safe. Okay. And, uh, we're going to mow this field and then we're going to go do some silage. So stick around. It's going to be fun times for all. You know, I thought that we were able to go really fast whenever it was just alfalfa. I mean, we're able to fly through this field because, um, I was wrong. I, I was I was very wrong. We are not getting as great of a yield. Um, in spots we are, but in other spots we're not getting as great of a yield. But you know maybe that's just because it still had all that excess fertilization from uh, the alfalfa because the alfalfa it liked its fertil fertilizer. All right, so maybe. Maybe we'll start picking up and, you know, once I'm able to get everything properly taken care of in this field, maybe, maybe if we use a grass roller, maybe, maybe we'll get a little bit better yield and get up there to be on par with our uh, alfalfa yield. I don't know. Um, I, I, I should have kept it alfalfa. I should have just, you know, grabbed one of the loader buckets and uh, or the telehandler bucket and just drove around the edge and kind of tore up all that grass that's around the edge that was making our life uh not so fun so yeah yeah that that that's probably on me um i figured this would just be easier though i don't know but regardless it's already done it's already planted uh maybe maybe we'll go back to alfalfa i don't know yet but we are almost done with this field and as soon as we finish it up we are going to give our actually you know what i should probably give the worker a call right now and tell them to get heading over here so that way they can run the tractor for us again and we can run the forage harvester because i kind of miss running the harvesters so yeah yeah no that's definitely what i'm gonna do all right i gotta go i gotta make a phone call all right well we uh got the worker here and now uh, hopefully they remember what's going to happen. Okay, they remember how to do their job. Come on, get up here. Really, bud? You're turning. Really? Come on. 
Hold on. Well, now that... Come on, get up here. A little bit closer there, bud. Oh, I love trying to reteach them how to do the things that they already knew how to do. Where, where are you going? No, uh, all right. You know, we're just, we're just, we're, we're gonna get this worked out and I'll, I'll be back with you guys, all right? All right, well, after a, um, I'm not gonna say too firm, but a uh, firm talking to, um, they, they seem to, uh, be listening now and uh everything is everything's working out well yeah it's it's working out good enough so yeah let's uh let's get all of this grass picked up put in the bunker and then we will transition we'll change out heads and we will go pick up or not start picking up but uh start working on our come on come on you can do it. There you go, buddy. There you go. Oh, this is going to be fun. You know what? I think I might just have them run the chopper for the corn. Because now I remember why I'm usually in the chase vehicle. Uh, well, I, I, I definitely didn't do as good of a job of keeping it nice and level. As I did last time we did silage. So, uh, yeah, let's... um. Let's go, let's go level that out. And I mean, I have been really, really wanting to use this. So it's going to work out perfectly. All right, let's see how well she does. Um, well, uh, it, it definitely digs, um, yeah, I'm, it's definitely gonna take some time to learn this one, Woo! she likes to dig down and grab it all, uh, okay, so, we'll come in here, we'll immediately get in here, and we'll just pick it up, yeah, there we go, that seems to be working out better, okay, maybe I should hit it from the other side, and, I don't know. This is going to take some getting used to. Let's let's see. Let's see what I can do with this. It's not going to be ideal, but with the design of that dozer blade, it it's not like our old one where we could really work on the level. It just kind of likes to dig. So I figured, you know what? We're just going to go and uh, just make it to where we just back into the trailer or back the trailer in, dump it out. And then we'll push it all with the stagger. I mean, it has the horsepower to push a full um, trailer load, so we should be good. We're we're getting through this uh, grass field pretty quickly now that the uh, worker has figured things out, and we've finally gotten the bunker taken care of. Um, but even then, it's still taking us pretty much most of the morning. So I don't know if we're gonna have enough time to get the whole or get all of the silage done that we need to get. At least out of the uh, cornfield, but hopefully we'll be able to get it done. It, but I'll be honest, guys, there might be some uh, lights needed to finish off today. I don't know, but ugh, that long this one's taken. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of concerned on how long the uh, corn silage is going to take because, well, that's a lot longer of a drive. So eh, we'll we'll figure it out as it goes. If we got to work later into the night, we will. And just like that, we are done with our grass field. Now we just need to go, well, not done, done yet. We still have however much is left in this windrow, but we still need to go hook up our uh, corn header, get that going. And uh, actually, you know what? Better yet, I'm just gonna have you follow me over there and uh, I'll get you unloaded. But now we need to go do that. Um, I think we're going to try to shoot for five headlands. So that way we don't have to run any more headlands on like when it comes time to harvest, we can just get straight into doing the meat of the field. So I don't know. Hopefully it'll work out. I'm not I'm not too sure right now, but we'll, we'll find out together. I really don't know how well I thought this through. 
So I hope we get to a spot where I can at least turn around. Okay, 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 it's starting to open up a little bit. Whoo, oh, nope, never mind. Still a branch in the way. Oh, I forgot how tight it is down here. Ho, 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 Oh, yep, well, there went that um, nice detailing that this tractor had before I got it. Oh, well. It's right. It's just, it's just a few tree branches. All right, let's get up here. That way they're not shooting right over the top of the cab. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's working out a little bit better now. I've actually made it a little bit farther than I thought for this uh, first load. Come on. We're almost there. Keep filling her up. There we go. All right. Now let's get back to the uh, house and get everything offloaded. We have finally finished off our first headland and it only took about four and a half, three, three and a half, four and a half loads. I, I lost count. Okay. But, um, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't think our bunker is going to be able to hold everything. I mean, we'll, we'll find out, but, um, yeah, I, I was really hoping that we could at least get the five headlands. So that way, uh, whenever the workers come in, they're not absolutely confused as to why there's no corn in front of them whenever I tell them to start harvesting. But y you never know, okay? When it when it comes to those workers, there are uh, there are there they're 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 about as sharp as a marble, okay? That's that's the best way to put it. Well, I, for one, am not so sure that taking off the extensions on the side of this uh, dozer blade helped out too much. Um, we're, we're pushing less silage, which is which is good. But uh, at the same point in time, um, maybe I should have put a different blade blade up on the front uh, or just taken the one that's on it off. Uh, probably should have done that. Maybe it would have worked out a little bit better. I don't know. But, I mean, this new Steiger is working out wonderfully when it comes to just pushing this stuff up and not really caring at all what is in front of it. Because, uh, yeah, as you guys can clearly see by the amount of silage that I am able to just push up, it it uh, it really doesn't care. Um, we might start calling this Steiger the Honey Badger. Is, uh, she, she really don't care what's in front of it. Oh, we have been working at this field for most of the afternoon. It's almost four o'clock, guys. And we are quickly filling up this uh, bunker. I really don't think we are. Uh, well, I, 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 I don't think we're going to get our five headlands just so we, we can make our lives a little bit easier. Um, I'll be surprised if we don't fill this bunker up by the end of the next headland. Like, in all honesty, guys, I really will be surprised. Because, uh, yeah, that's filling up pretty quickly. And we're averaging about three to four uh, stops every time for every headland. So, yeah. Um, huh. I may have to come up with a new plan. That is, that is for, for certain. I, I'm most likely going to have to come up with a new plan. Hmm. Well, maybe, maybe I'll just drive around and uh, pick the edges because, yeah, because it's, it's going to be, it's going to be really difficult for those, uh, for, for those workers because, I mean, ugh. or you know what? Maybe I just need to find smarter workers. Is that possible? I know I can't afford to send them to school. Huh. Maybe maybe I should go put an ad out on Craigslist. Is Craigslist still a thing? Um I don't know. I'm I'm gonna have to go do some research now. I don't I don't wanna call it because I wanna pack that uh bunker completely full. But I think I'm just gonna call it here and then I will do the headlands for the workers just to make their life easier because well it's getting late and 
we're close enough that I feel I'm starting to feel a lot more confident that we're going to have enough silage to last until next year. So, yeah, no, I, I think we're I think we're OK. Um, we still could go do another headland just fine, but I think we're going to call it there, guys. Now, I just got done cleaning up around the edges for our uh, workers and uh, well, I apparently need to talk to the owners of these two fields because I feel like we might have like we're getting really close to getting these fields paid off and well if, if, if they're paid off I I might be buying a new field today um, I might be taking a really big risk in buying a new field today um, I don't know but regardless it doesn't matter about like none of that matters as of right now uh, we need to get this harvest going so I am going to go get oh dear lord that really pulled the tractor or the uh, cab and uh, not, not about cause an accident there I should not turn that sharp anymore um but I'm gonna go get this corn put in the bin or actually you know what I'm gonna jump on the phone with the owners see what they decide and uh while i'm doing that i'm gonna run this load all the way over to our uh corn dryer so we can start getting uh this corn dried down to get sold off so i ran over to the corn dryer and well good news um i need to talk to the bank see if i can get another hundred grand figured out for all of this and i'll be able to pay off this field and that field that's, that's all we have left combined total. So we'll be paying 100 grand to these guys total. And then we will be uh, going ahead. And what are you? Or, you know what? I don't even want to know. Um, and then we'll be going. And well, let's look at the map. Then we'll be buying field 31. It has soybeans in it. It has good, from what I hear, good land on it. So yeah, we're going to be going about four or five hundred thousand dollars in the hole today yeah oh well it'll be all right though we'll, we'll we'll make it we'll make the money back i know that i've said it before but even though i've said it before i will say it again oh i love this new stack here it actually has brakes oh i can't tell you how happy that makes me actually being able to stop when i want to stop it's it's, it's kind of life-changing, all right? It's, 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 it's wonderful. I've been thinking, and I know, I, I, I know I'm not supposed to be doing things like that. I know, but I think I'm gonna run at least the first, at the bare minimum, I'm gonna run the first few loads of corn down to the corn dryer. I know it's gonna make it to where my, uh, um, where my like harvesters have to wait my workers have to wait for me to get back but you know what having that corn dryer because it's not it's not it's not the fastest corn dryer so having it to where it can start corn drying and get everything dry dried down now i think would be a major benefit and then our corn will be ready that much sooner in case you know there becomes a high price for it so Sorry, workers, you're going to have to uh, wait on me. Besides, we're not doing much today. We just got two more fields to do. Not that big. Shouldn't take us too long to do them. So while I was over here, I called the uh, bank. I got a loan approved and I already paid off the uh, two owners. So we, we own that field now or we own both of the fields now and uh, I need to give the guy a holler for field 31. We'll be buying those or we'll be buying that field as well. And I think I'm going to do myself a favor. And I don't know if this semi can truly handle it, but I'm going to get a bigger trailer. So I'm going to get unhooked. Let them. Uh, this is where they said they wanted it for some odd reason. So drop it off right here. And uh, um. Uh, you know what? I'll, 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 just, I'll just park right here. Hopefully, hopefully that's out of everybody's way. 
Yeah. No, you know what? No, we're just we're just I'm I'm just gonna be smart about it. I'm gonna put the truck right here. Alright, cool. Now I'm gonna run in inside real quick and I'm gonna go get our trailer, get everything signed for and bought and paid for. Oh, that was painful. Alright, but the the best part is we now own both of these fields, alright? But we also own field 31. And we have a new trailer. It's supposed to hold more than our old trailer, even though it looks about the same size. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. It, uh, it, it, it turns a lot better than the, than the old trailer. It has steering axles in the back. Don't know how those work. That is some um, space age technological mumbo jumbo that I, I have a feeling that they told me just to make me buy it. But regardless, it holds, I think, 80,000 liters compared to the uh, 40 that we held before. So, yeah, but uh, my, my, my workers are kind of mad at me, guys. I got I got to I got to get them them unloaded. Oof. Sorry, guys. I was I was I was expanding the farm. Please, please, please don't get too mad at me or actually, you know what? Get mad at me. I don't care. I'll be fine. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We're we're adults. We, yeah, just, 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 just don't quit mid harvest, okay? That's that's all I'm asking. Well, it is officially time to see if they were uh, lying to me or not. Now, this amount would usually fill up the front tank. How much more can we fit in here? Yeah, that. I don't know how that's working, but it is working. Um. Okay. You know what? I will happily take that. I will happily take that. That's that's okay. Cool. That is less trips that we have to make, and I don't have to really worry too much about getting this uh, grain wagon filled because uh, we can easily fit that in the uh, trailer now. So that is a major bonus. You know, even though we're like they had to wait on me. I still feel like they're going through this field a lot faster than they did last time because yeah, I think doing that headland around the field, I, I think that really sped up the uh, harvest time because yeah, I, I, mm, I feel like we are just flying through it at this point. It is, it, it's kind of nice. You know, I, I was worried about how long this harvest would take and it turns out it's not taking that long. So that's going to be a bonus. That's going to give me a little bit more time to go uh, get everything set up for the new field. And also, shoot, we may even be able to go uh, sling some or plow this up and then sling some newer on it. That'll be nice. That'll be really nice. It means I, uh, I, I definitely don't have to be doing that whenever it's, you know, negative 20 degrees outside and blowing snow again. I mean, not complaining, but but it it, it it wasn't it wasn't fun doing that last time. OK, that, that, that's all I'm saying. All right. Let's see how this old Mac handles this big old trailer. Because I have a feeling she's going to be struggling. Ooh, this is a lot of weight. Like I oof, I can feel this trailer behind us and uh, it, it does not feel light. But you know what? I have a feeling transporting 80,000 liters of corn at a time all the way down there is is still making it to where we can get a lot more harvesting done before I have to run down to the corn dryer. Um, so let's. Yeah, but let's just let's just celebrate. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we got this purchase, but it's also kind of scary that we got this purchase at the same time because well guys uh i'm not exactly sure how well this is gonna pay out for us i mean it's gonna make it to where we can transport crops a lot quicker use less fuel but also we're gonna be pulling a lot heavier loads at a time so therefore we're gonna use up more fuel um maybe the next thing we buy is a a little bit newer semi that can handle the the weight of the yeah, that, yeah, yeah, we might have to do that. Yeah, we, we might have to uh, update our semi to one that can handle the, Come on, get up this hill. Let's go. Let's go. There you go, bud. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to update our semi. Oh, well, I'm, I'm just happy that we got a newer, bigger trailer. I'm not gonna lie. This 
this field is going by a lot quicker than it was last time. I know that for certain, even though that we are running down to the corn dryer all the time, but we're also, you know, doing it what we would have done in two trips. We're doing in one trip now. So that is quite nice. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's get this unloaded because we are, what, almost 75% full on this trailer. So, yeah, we are we're saving a lot of time with this new trailer. I'm, I'm kind of excited. And that also means that we're going to be able to store all of our soybeans in the, uh, well, the bin that we were going to be putting all of this corn in. So that's actually kind of nice. It's one less bin that's going to be running this winter. So that'll also save us a little bit of money there as well. Shoot. Sometimes I guess it does pay to, to, to spend money to make money. Huh. Who'd have known? Well... I definitely didn't expect to get this field done before noon and look at us now we are uh we're done harvesting before noon i just have to grab this one last stock of corn get this thing turned around so we can get you unloaded and we'll go put the uh bean headers on and get to harvesting some soybeans didn't take us very long to get those headers on the uh, combines. And since they are doing soybeans, we're also dropping down the soybean straw so we can make some more bales. And we're also uh, going to go run the rest of this corn down to our uh, run drying place and get that all set up, ready to go. And all of our corn is already transported, so it, it, it should work out pretty, pretty well. Um, now, but also since they're doing uh, soybeans, I, I feel a lot more comfortable driving down there now because, well, it's it's going to take a little bit longer for them to fill up with soybeans than it would corn. So if I can actually get some speed, Semi, thank you. I need I need more. I'm, I, I don't I don't have all day, but uh, we should be able to get back before they get full. Hopefully. Well, I wasn't able to to get back in time before they filled up, but I was able to uh, be pretty pretty darn close to the house, so we are not messing or, you know, not not making them wait longer than what, we, than what they need to. So that is going to be very nice. Um, all right, so once we are, uh, uh, yeah, I'll get the front one first. Once we're done harvesting this field, I'll go uh, call up to my other um, less important workers, because I'm, I'm not saying, that, okay, I shouldn't say that they're not less important, but uh, my less um, smart workers, I guess I guess you could say. Um, and we're gonna have those guys come in and bail this field up. And then once we're done with the next field, we'll have them bail up that field as well. Hopefully they can learn to avoid the bales. Um, I'm not gonna hold my breath on that though. Regardless, it's time to get our soybeans done this afternoon and uh, be done with harvest for the year. We officially have our first full grain. Uh, wow. Words. We officially have our first full grain auger and um, auger wagon. And well, I'm, I'm impressed, but I'm not impressed at the same time. I... I kind of thought we'd be getting a little bit more, but I got to remember it is soybeans and we just came from a corn harvest. So yeah, I really have to have that in perspective. It's, it's really difficult going from one to the other because you know, you got your high yielding corn and with the bigger kernels. And then now you have your, your soybeans, which are really, really small kernels and uh, they don't take up as much space. So therefore, uh, you don't you don't fill up as fast. Well, that kind of went by uh, a little fast and a little furious. Um, so we're, we're we're done with our soybean harvest, or it, this field, I should say. We're we're done in this field, and now we need to go. Uh, actually, I really don't even think we're gonna unload. Um, well, I guess we could unload into the auger wagon that's down at the field already. Um, we'll get unloaded into the auger wagon and then we will go and after that we'll start harvesting our new field 
and uh, see what the yield's like. I'm not expecting too great of a yield. I mean, there are some massive rocks in that field, but uh, it's eh, <laughs> it is it is not going to be kind to our uh, headers at all. So, yeah, let's uh get this combine unloaded, and then we will uh, jump into getting that new field started up. Wow. Um, those stones are bigger than what I, I, I thought they were. Um, wow. Uh, all right. You know what? I, I am not ready for the repair bill. Thank the good Lord above that this is our final harvest because, uh, yeah, that's definitely going to be, uh, tearing up some of our, uh, our teeth on the, uh, headers. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, um, all right. I'm going to go call the bank because I'm going to need to get a bigger loan because I did this. I'm not ready for this repair bill. Oh, dude, that that's a boulder. OK, that is a freaking that's a small boulder. All right. Why? Why do I have small boulders in in my in my field? All right. This is this is this is an issue. All right. This is definitely an issue. I'm just I'm curious. Hold up. Are, are those guys okay yeah they don't look like they're anywhere near close to being full okay is this is this oh no this is just flat level ground with a bunch of bushes in there um hmm um i think i might yeah i might have a uh little project for myself this winter i might take out this tree line I take out this tree line we can combine these fields together yeah or not fields but we can we can combine oh hey crap we got a uh worker that that, that need that, that needs me to rescue them let's go but uh no we might we might take out that uh tree row and just make this field a little bit bigger and a lot more easy to harvest yeah that's that's gonna be a lot easier to harvest for us oh dear lord which one which one's full uh you know what i'm I'm at the point where I should just stop asking questions and I can ju should just unload both of them. I'm I'm pretty sure I bought a field of rocks with a little bit of soybeans mixed in. Yeah. Um. Uh. All right. I. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. Uh, this field is in a lot more like a lot rougher shape than what I expected. That's that's all I can say. I just checked the time and uh, well, I don't think that we are going to be able to get everything bailed up today. So we'll probably be doing that next time. And uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe I can get this project done before winter and we can get that uh, whole entire tree row out and then get this field fixed up to where, uh, well, our um, our workers are going to like it a lot better. Because uh, that little spot down there, they really did not like like harvesting. Oh, they hated it. But regardless, guys, we're going to get this field finished up and call it a day. It, we're going to be doing something slightly unusual, okay? It is November, okay? Usually you do not cut grass in November. But um, this is all of our hay for, for winter. And um, we... Uh, <laughs> We, 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 we're, we're definitely going to be needing way more hay than this to get us through winter, All right? We are going through six bales per feeding, and we're feeding almost twice a day now. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to get some bales. So we're going to go cut our uh, grass field, see how many bales we can get off of it. Hopefully we can get enough bales to uh, last us the winter. I'm... I'm not too optimistic that we will, but you know what? It is worth a shot. Um, this is definitely going to affect our cutting schedule for next year, but I, I don't have a choice right now because I don't have the funds to actually go and buy another or to buy any hay at all. So, yeah, we're just we're just going to have to see what, what, what we can get from these fields. But first... Oh, come on. I know it's a little heavy in the rear. Yeah, come on. Let me turn. Thank you. Thank you for finally grabbing grip. Um, we are, uh, we're going to go get these cattle fed. 
and see if we can get some hay made up. I'm not gonna lie, this feels wrong. It feels so wrong to be doing this right now, but oof, like we're we're gonna be in desperate need of some hay if I don't do this. Now I I wish I could have let it grow, you know, and and get a little bit more growth to it so we could get more potentially. But right now I I really don't care. You know, we we are so low on hay going into winter that it is terrifying. Okay, we should we should definitely have 10 times the amount of hay that we have, but I was lazy during the summer and uh we kind of just let our hay field be. And I I should not I should not have done that. Plain and simple. I should not have done that. And now we are uh well paying the price for it. But uh you know, I am considering, you know, potentially buying another field and making it into a hay field as well. But I really I really don't know what field that would be. Like what field would I go and turn into a hay field that I that I can buy? But I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I should I end up, you know, trying to talk to the bank and see if they will let me buy another hay field? I I don't know. It it seems like a really risk really 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 risky maneuver considering we just bought I don't know three fields. Yeah. Yeah, we just bought three fields. Yeah, I don't I don't know how how smart of a idea that would be. There's there's one thing that I noticed that, you know, I just can't stop kicking myself in in the rear or or, or hurting myself on, on, on this field. Um, I forgot to lime and fertilize it. Yeah. Um, so our yield is not great as is. <sighs> this is, oh, this is really not ideal. This is really not ideal. Um, I might have to go get a loan and uh, go buy another field. I I really don't want to do that. Or I might I wonder I wonder if I pay somebody like a month's worth of rent and I go and I fertilize and lime it after I'm done or if I pay them like 2 months worth of rent and I I I fix up their field and I fertilize it, I lime it. I wonder if they will, uh, if, if they'll actually let me, uh, go get a cutting of grass off their field. Um, cause I'm, you know, I think that would be a fair offer, you know, I'm, it, you know, depending on who it is, I'm, I'm improving the quality of their field and I'm, I'm able to save, save, you know, my cattle for this winter. Ooh, that might be a, a that might be a better option. That really might be a better option. Ooh, I gotta make some phone calls. Yeah, I should. Ooh, I should definitely call my neighbor. He has a bunch of grass fields, and he kind of likes me. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's call him. Let's let's see if he'll agree to this. Um, I don't know. I I hope he will. Well, good news, everybody. Um, we uh. We got permissions, which is awesome. So we should be able to uh, save at least our, our cattle through starving for the winter because, uh, well, let's be honest, um, when, when you put when you put silage and, and straw together, it, it doesn't make any forage. So, yeah, um, no, we're, looks like we're uh, going to be mowing a new field today after we're done mowing this field. I, He hasn't told me which one he wants me to do yet, but I have a feeling it's going to be one of his worst fields. And if it is, that's fine. I'm not going to complain because any grass at this point in time that I can make into hay is going to help out this farm astronomically because, well, I'm a big idiot 
and uh, mistakes were made. You know, I, I'll, I'll admit it. I made I made some mistakes. I got lazy, even though I really don't feel like I've been that lazy. But it is what it is. We will uh, we will definitely figure it out. Okay, we have finished up our field. Um, I'm gonna take this back to the uh, shop real quick, um, get everything greased up, because well, our we, we do need to repair a little bit of stuff on this before we go over to our neighbors. I'm gonna get the Swather fueled up, and then we're gonna go figure out which um, which field that we are getting. And you know what? I think this winter, we're gonna tear that down. We're gonna tear that down and then put up a little spot to where we can start storing all of our manure over there because the spots that we have right now are not working very well. Did not take us long to get everything fueled up, everything greased up. We should be good for this field. And uh, I do believe that this is the field that he was talking about. He said the first field, first grass field on my right coming to his house. And that is his house up there. So... I believe this is the right one. If not, I, it, I guess I'll find out. But uh, here we go. Let's uh, <laughs> let's get some more grass on the way, or hay, I should say. Because yeah, we we need it. Oh dear lord, I don't know what is going on, but these cattle took to feed, and man, they are just putting it away. I, it, you know it. it they're eating almost like you know those like those people that like like competitive eat yeah that's that's pretty much my cattle right now it's awesome since i'm running a feed yard but i, I don't think they're putting the weight on as quickly as they should so i i don't know hopefully uh hopefully we can get it figured out though i don't mm, it's just one of those deals but regardless we are actually getting a really good yield so Maybe, hopefully I can improve this guy's uh, yield after we're done with this field, but I don't know. This already looks like it's doing pretty well just by the uh, size of the windrows that we're kicking out. Ooh, I'm jealous. You know, maybe, maybe if I properly took care of my grass field, I could get a yield like this. <sighs> Forby, what have you done? All right, let's let's get to work. I really owe this guy. I must say, I am, like, really jealous of how well this uh, field is doing. And I am still kicking myself in the rear for not properly taking care of my own field. It is all of my fault. But you know what? This guy is... This guy is awesome. All right. He is totally taking care of me. I mean, we've done some trades in the past. This is the guy that I got the uh, manure spreader from not too long ago so i'd i'd say that we're good friends and hopefully uh you know i i have been thinking about buying fields so maybe since he was downsizing and trying to get rid of his manure spreader because he didn't need a bigger one or anything else because he was downsizing maybe we can get a hold of these fields because i mean Maybe I can get him to sell this field and the two fields right over there on top of it. I don't, I don't know. Because, I mean, if we could just have all of these be our grass fields, we could have all of our crop fields be at the house. And yeah, we might have to transport a little bit farther for our grass, but I don't know. I think, I think it could work. Huh. Maybe I'll have to talk to him about it. I don't know. But we, we really just need to get out of debt first, which I, I, I feel that we could do once we sell everything off. So we should be out of debt by at least next July. But I don't know. I'm I'm overthinking everything right now. And we I, I just need to get focused on, you know, actually making it to where we have enough hay to get through the winter. So I'm just going to I'm, I'm, I'm going to shut up and I'm going to I'm going to keep on running this windrow through this grass field. You know what? It's it's 1045 and we're done mowing. I, oh dear Lord, look at all this grass. Or not grass, look at all this hay. Why do I keep calling it? Whatever, look at all this hay. That is, 
Hmm. That is that is really gonna help out the farm. Oh, this is gonna be nice. I'm not gonna be looking forward to the payments, but you know what? It'll be worth it in the end. I know for a fact it'll be worth it. If we can keep all of our cattle and get it to where they were getting a better price because we're definitely in a price slump for the price of cattle right now. So once the price of cattle goes back up, we, oh, oh, it's gonna be great. But till then, we gotta do things like this to make sure that we can at least feed the cattle. Because, well, when it comes time, the cattle are going to keep the farm running. I hope. Maybe. I don't know. Nobody ever really makes money in the cattle industry. I. Uh, maybe I should change industries. Now that we have all of the mowing done, that means that it is time to put all of our windrows into bigger windrows so we have to make less passes. Because, well, I'll be honest, the, the tractor and baler that we use for uh, bailing everything up, yeah, it doesn't like turning real sharp. So we, we kind of have to take all these, put two windrows into one. Oh, come on. I really need to work on your brakes. So I have busted out the old white. You know, we haven't used this tractor in a little while, and I figured, you know what? Why not run the cobwebs out of it? And, uh, use it to windrow up all of our windrows. It, it's, it's like windrowception. But regardless, um, this is going to make it to where it's going to be a little bit easier on us for, uh, well, actually getting it bailed up. So I'm going to go get everything windrowed up and, uh, I'll see you whenever we hook up the baler. Okay. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to use the white for this because I, I, I kind of forgot about the long drive that we got to go on. It's all right. We got time. We got time. We just may be bailing our straw into the night. It'll be fine. We'll be fine. There'll be no issues at all with it. I could not have timed that any better. It is lunchtime. I'm hungry. So I'm going to stop by the house, grab a bite to eat. Then I'm going to run over to the case and we're going to start bailing up all of our bales. I'm going to reset the bale counter because I'm actually really intrigued on how many bales we're, we're going to get off of all of these fields. And uh, I'm going to write it down somewhere. I don't know where yet. Um, I should I should probably get a notebook from the house when I get to the house and then write down the number of bales that we get to see how long they last. That way I can start getting an idea of how many bales we're going to need to get through the year because well that'd, be, that, that'd probably be a smart thing to do you know figure out how much feed we're going to need to actually get through the year per head of cattle so uh yeah i'm gonna start trying to uh do things a little bit smarter because i don't want to have a dummy attack like i like i like i have today and uh hopefully we can start doing better i love how fast this baler can actually process through its why aren't you collecting i didn't hear you start collecting oh, okay because you haven't fully kicked it out yet okay i was so confused there for a second i knew we'd made a bail because i could hear it kick it out ah there it is there's the sound i'm looking for um like i love how fast this tractor can go but uh you know what I, I still feel like it's not fast enough because uh, we have so much bailing to do. I think we have like 60 acres or something like that to bail this afternoon because I really want to get all of that straw picked up too because, well, one, it's it's money laying on the ground and two... Oh, hold on. That's... that's all right. That is our first bunch of hay on the ground and... uh but no, I really want to get all of that straw picked up, bailed up, along with all the hay. Just because it is money that is sitting on the ground right now, and I don't want it to be wasted. So, I have a feeling we're pretty much going to be living in this, this tractor for the rest of the day. There's nothing wrong with it, though. But, you know, we've got a lot of bailing ahead of us. 
Well, I just jumped out and looked at the uh, fail counter, and come to find out, we uh, we only made 25 bales with that. And I'll be honest, that's only enough to get us to March. And if we can only get to March, I am really glad that I that I rented out this other field because our grass won't be grown by March. It'll just be coming out of dormancy. That'll be a major problem because it'll still take a couple more months for it to grow tall enough to actually be able to be, you know, cut. So I was worried that I made the wrong choice in actually going and getting this field, but the, the longer that we're going, I'm more positive that I made the right choice. Even though it's it's going to cost me, you know, I think it's like, what, $10,000, $12,000 before I will be able to uh, get everything put out onto this field. So it is what it is, but you know what? It was a good call, and I'm glad that I made it. That feels weird to say. But you know what? We're just going to roll with it. I'm happy that things are actually going to end up working out. Going from our hayfield to this hayfield makes me realize that um, I really need to buy this field. Holy cow. The yield off of this field is insane. Like we are. I'm I'm. I'm having to actually drive a lot slower on this field just due to how quickly we are getting bales out of this field. Okay, like, man, I, I got to talk to my neighbor. I got to figure out what he did with this field because the yield is, it, it, it is leaps and bounds above mine. Even whenever it is fully fertilized and fully limed, it is just leaps and bounds better. It Maybe they have better soil in their field. I don't know. But I mean, at this point, we are. We're already at 40 bales. And we just finished the headlands. OK, like, come on, that is so many more bales than what we actually got off of our field. Th we're going to get 60 ish bales off of this field. Like, oh, 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 I don't want to make a mess. There we go. Oh, I got I got I got too busy in a rant right there and I for almost forgot to dump my bales. That would have been really awkward. OK, I'm just saying. You guys, you guys would have seen me mess up on camera. And you know what? I can't be doing that. I've already done enough messing up today. That field is done. We ended up with 65 hay bales. So that should be roughly enough to last us maybe a year. But if cattle prices don't go up, we're going to start going through a lot more because I think, I think we accidentally got a bowl in, in with, with, in there somewhere in all the pens, cause some of those heifers don't look like they're going to be heifers for long. Um, so yeah, we might be, um, expanding <laughs> the, the number of cattle that we have. So we might be going through a lot more feed, which is mildly concerning, but you know what? is what it is you know i it's just more cattle that i gotta raise but I, that i didn't have to pay for well i mean i did have to pay for in, in the form of feed but you guys get my meaning but since we are already hooked up we are gonna go and start bailing up all of our straw so we can just get that done since we're here and uh then we will uh go, go start picking everything up oh come on Turn on. Don't you break on me. Don't. There, there you go. Oh, hey, look at that. We might. Ooh, we're going to get a uh, hay bale out of this, too. Nice. Heck, yeah. That's awesome. But I think that's going to be it for the day because the crisis has been averted. 
for the most part. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I need to uh, get the combines out of this field. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll handle that here in a little bit. We are getting the cattle fed this morning and it has started snowing. I uh, currently am waiting on approval from the bank to increase the loan a little bit because, uh, well, with the stuff that we're going to be doing today, we're going to need to increase the loan because, uh, well, we're, we're going to be getting a uh, tree devourer. At least that's what they're calling it. Like it, 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 it just it chips up all the trees, right? Just just it grinds them up into mulch. And, you know, it just kind of acts like fertilizer, I guess, is the way that I understand it. You know, actually, how cold it is supposed to get tonight. Let's get you put in the shed. We well, can hopefully stay at least just a little bit warmer. Yeah, guys, don't let me forget. I need to uh, put away all of the tractors today because uh, I don't I don't I don't want them, you know, breaking down, you know, whenever I need them. But regardless, we're going to be working on our new field or our new soybean field. We're going to get it plowed up. Get more rocks. Yay. We're going to pick up the rocks and then we're going to take out this tree line. Yeah, because, well, we don't we don't need it. There's no point in it. And then we're going to plow this side of the field and this side of the field together and uh, make this field a little bit bigger and a little bit more easy for the workers to do. Because, well, we all know that they are smooth brain, just like me, and uh, they need things to be easy. So with that one, guys, uh, let's jump into it. And uh, I'm going to go see if the bank has approved my loan yet. All right. They have dropped off this Blizzard Trek 600. Huh. All I know is that this spins really fast and it takes down trees. That's all I know. That's all they told me. And that's pretty much all I need because, well, we have trees and uh, they need to go down. And to do that, well, we, we kind of we kind of need the, the, the tracks. So... I'm going to jump in this. Ooh, ooh, that does sound nice. OK, so let's get this lowered down. All right. Actually, for how big this thing is, uh, it actually moves pretty quickly. I am surprised. Now, let's get across the road. Try not to turn so we don't break up the concrete. I don't care if we tear up the uh, grass in the ditch at all, because, well, it's just grass in the ditch so it's not really that important all right so i think i oh yep that's the button i need to hit for that all right let's see how well this works oh oh wow oh wow okay okay oh dear lord those trees are just disappearing ah! <laughs> uh, i think i found a new favorite toy Oh, come on. Yes. Oh, this is going to be so easy. I love it. Oh, this is nice. Yep. I, I, I need one of these, you know, for personal things. Don't, don't ask questions. Oof. That cold front definitely hit. All right. But, um, they said that this was going to be fast. Um, I didn't know that they, that, that, that it was going to be this fast. Um, I've only been working on this tree line for like 20 minutes and then I ran out of tree line. Uh, I need to, I need to, I need to find more trees to, uh, destroy because that, that was, that was too much fun, but we are done as you guys can see with the tree line. Unfortunately, I guess I will, uh, text them or give them a call real quick as we go start up the stagger. Um, did I? plug in the stagger hopefully i plugged in the stagger Ooh, i really hope i plugged in the stagger because it's it got cold fast Woohoo! but yeah let's uh we'll get the stagger warming up and then we will get that little spot plowed in and actually we'll we'll get the whole entire field plowed so on to the next project the stagger is warmed up and the plow is, I guess, not wanting to plow very well. Maybe the ground's getting a little frozen. 
Or is 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 the stagger too tall? Maybe the stagger's too tall for it. I hope not. Ooh. Ooh. That's that's not good. That is not good at all. Um Ooh. That is Um how are we going to fix that? Uh great, new problems arise. Uh I did not expect that to happen. Okay, maybe Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I think I, I think the hydraulics are having trouble going down far enough. Yeah, they're definitely having trouble going down far enough. Okay, so I will go see if maybe we can let some air out of the... Or actually, you know what? I'll I'll give the, uh, the shop a call. Let's get this thing folded up. And we'll run over to the shop and see if they have any smaller tires for this. Yeah. Oh, good thing you got a bigger loan. All right. Let's uh, go go fix this problem. Uh, I, I really wanted to keep these tires. I like them. Well, I didn't have to, uh, you know, switch out tires. Uh, apparently, they still had the old attacher joint for this laying around because well initially when i bought this it was actually a trail version but i wanted it to be a three-point adapter so they uh they took these off and put on the adapters to hook onto the quick hitch so yeah they still had this laying around for some reason i don't know why but they did so i paid them i think it was like 200 bucks 300 bucks for that or for storage and no actually how much did they charge me i think it was like 12 something they charged me a, a amount i don't know i didn't pay attention but now it works just fine so we will go get this part all plowed together and then i can't forget i do have a spot down there that i do want to plow but we're gonna get this spot done first so let's get to plowing now that I've gotten it figured out, if we just skip a row, and especially with having this right here, it makes life pretty dang easy for plowing up this field. You know, if we're getting half of it done, and then we'll finish up the other half on the way back. And as soon as that happens, then we'll be done. Oop, 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 oop. Yep, we're in the water. We're in the water. Okay. So let's get this turned around and try not to get stuck in the pond because, yeah, I really don't want to ruin. There we go. I really do not feel like ruining my brand new Steiger. That would be a very, very bad day. This is the final pass on this field for plowing, at least. Um, we're going to need to go fire up one of the other tractors. We're going to let the uh, Steiger rest for a little bit. And we're going to need to get the rock picker hooked up. Come out here and get, you know, and make this into an actual field. Because, well, right now it's 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 just a field of rocks. Okay, we, we, we've discussed this before. It was a field of rocks with a little bit of soybeans mixed in. And, well, we're going to make it to where this next round it's gonna be a field of soybeans with with no rocks mixed in so i'm gonna be happy about that my headers are gonna be way happier about that than i am because well i'm still waiting on on the teeth for the headers to show up because holy cow i did not expect to uh break that many but you know what it is what it is i i i, I can't complain too much we are now done pl plowing this which is wonderful all right nobody's coming let's get this folded oop gotta quit looking at the plow um you know what good i'll i'll just give him the five bucks it'll take to uh actually you know what i'll i'll go dig the hole and put the post back fine i will put the sign back up here in a little bit but which tractor are we going to use i gotta figure out which tractor we're going to use so i'm going to get the rock picker hooked up 
start picking some rocks and uh you know what i might even yeah no i'm definitely gonna go rent a uh rock crusher as well that way we could start making some lime because we're gonna have enough rocks that yeah we sh we should definitely be able to uh you know make enough lime to completely lime that field and maybe some some others hmm this, this could be a very beneficial endeavor Huh. I wonder I wonder how, I wonder what the conversion rate is you know what I have way too many questions right now and I need to go start a tractor so let, let's go get that tractor started so while I was uh, picking up the stones I, uh, I I may and or may not have ordered some stuff and well this is the pile of stones that we got from that field uh yeah it, 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 it was quite a bit and like i said we're gonna be making our own lime so i may and or may not have uh you know actually went and well automated that a little bit let's uh hope that it works for, for now before uh you know everything gets well actually fills up that bucket and makes it to where we make enough to fill this up we're just going to pull it out of the bin and uh, get to spreading some lime because, well, right now we need to we need to get to work before this snow starts piling up. In the time it took us to actually go and empty out our trailer, we actually made a trailer's worth of, of lime and some extra. So, hey, if we can keep this pace up, we should be able to... Uh, you know, pretty much have this field lime itself. There we go. All right, cool. Now it has all of the lime out of the way, so therefore we should not have any problems. Let's get back to liming. Well, this uh, this field has made enough lime to lime itself and do a pass on that field or not a full pass well a partial pass because I, I started it as i was coming over here but still that's a lot of lime oh you know what our our rock field yielded well and i should i should not complain okay i should just be happy that we got the yield that we got with it and uh you know just you know be happy about the money that we're making from it or saving I, I should say but yeah no that was a that was a really good yield for for the rock field uh hopefully we don't have to do it again <sighs> snow has finally started to accumulate and uh i think that means that we are done putting out lime for right now because yeah i i, I kind of can't tell where i'm putting it down and uh i kind of need to know where i'm putting it down and that yeah, that, that does mean that we're probably going to be done for the day because, well, I need to get all of my equipment put away. We are done with our rocks, so we can get that equipment sent back. And what else? What else do we need to do? What else do we need to do? Yeah, we just need to get equipment put away and actually start moving snow. Uh, I don't want to move snow. But I think that is going to be it for the day, guys. We were able to get one field done and potentially have enough to do a couple more fields. But unfortunately, the snow has made it to where that's going to be a little difficult. Today, we're going to be digging out the farm, moving snow, selling some crops, making money, and hopefully feeding our cattle because, well, it's eight o'clock and they haven't been fed yet and they're getting kind of loud over there but we need to get the snow moved prices for crop for crops right now are pretty pretty high and we need to definitely get those sold off so that way we can actually you know pay off this stagger that we are currently driving yeah i mean it's it's been a wonderful piece of equipment don't get me wrong but i i i, I should I should probably pay the bank. Um, we, we I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't 
I don't want to say how much we owe the bank, but uh, we owe them enough that I'm afraid of them right now. So uh, let's get the, all of this snow moved. Okay, come on. There we go. And then we can go and get some crops sold, get the bank paid off, and, you know, maybe find a spot somewhere in there to uh, go feed the cattle. Um, hello? Thank you. Ooh, that was a little bit of a slippery spot. Oh. <sighs> Did they just, like, not clean my road ever? Well, buddy, how are you? Are you, are you, are you up to uh, push a little bit more snow? I, I, I hope you are, because uh, we're, we're, we're going to go clear away to, to town because we need to pay you off. All right, let's get you situated to this side. Let's get you dropped down. Off we go. Off to town we go. Get dropped down. There we go. Oh, oof. Oof. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Here's Atlanta. All right. Oh, really? You have... No need to be saying rough road. I know it's a rough road. Okay, you were making it a rough road. Okay. Now, let's try again and uh, see if we can actually get our way into town. Oh, I mean, one of those days I can, I, I can just sense it. Or maybe not. Ooh, it may be better. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Well, I don't want to admit it, but uh, we had to run back to the house. We just, we should have just taken the snowblower in the first place. The, the drifts were just too big up here. We, uh, we, we definitely had to go get the snowblower because, well, the Steiger, she uh, unfortunately couldn't handle it. It was just getting to be too much. It'd get up underneath the blade and next thing you know, I'd be making a pile instead of just, you know, putting it over on the side of the road. Now, we are currently blowing it off the road. We're finding all the nooks and crannies to get stuck on. There we go. And uh, eventually we will make it to town. Eventually. But uh, till then, we're just going to keep moving snow and uh, making our lives a little bit easier for as much traveling as we're going to be doing today. I really don't want to be traveling as much as we are going to be, but... You know what? With our bigger trailer, we're going to have to make less trips. And with making less trips means less travel time. So in all reality, it's going to be quicker than what it usually was in the past. But I mean, as you guys can see, like, look at these drifts. They're just horrendous. It's oh, it's so bad. And then the roads clear right by town. It's almost like they, you know, started going down my road and we're like, ah, Poor B will get it. We don't need to put the wear and tear on our vehicles. <sighs> All right, sorry. I'm done ranting. Uh, 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 I'll see you whenever we start loading up the semi. So we're back at the house. We're getting the uh, final touches done on getting everything actually uh, cleared out, I guess you could say. Because, well, semi's hooked up. It's still warming up i let it warm up for like five minutes guys don't 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 get don't get too up in a up in a hurry and you know in a rush saying hey i'm not taking care of my semi no i i let it warm up a little bit okay now we just need to get most of this snow i, I ran the uh um oh come on Ooh, that's a lot of snow that is so much snow but I ran the uh, snowblower back here, made a little bit of a path, and, well, I'll be honest, guys, I, I kind of want to move a little bit more snow than what the snowblower can move at one time. Because, well, prices are ever fluctuating, and I really do not want to lose out on, you know, what could potentially end up being a couple, a couple grand. All right, and when you're as far into debt as we are, a couple grand is a lot of money. Oh, so much debt. So much debt. I'm just, you know what? We're just digging out of everything today. We are digging out of debt, and we are digging 
out of snow. It's just a whole lot of digging today. It's all right though. Well, we'll eventually get there. It definitely won't be today though. Oh, careful deer. Oh, dear Lanta, this is so much snow. And it's only January. We still have a few more months of snowfall potential. Uh, I need to, you know what? I need to quit thinking about it. It is just making me sad. So let's go get the Steiger put away. We have enough snow moved to, uh, you know, effectively get around the farm. And uh, we will go start moving some of our uh, grain and getting it sold off. All right, hopefully the roads have yet to blow in, but we have our first load of rye. We need to take it to the train station so that way we can get a train coming. And then um, we're gonna send these off to uh, whatever the name is of the town. I can't remember it right now, but we're gonna get it sent there because they are selling for the, for the best price. And oh, hey, it looks like I uh, missed a little bit of snow. Oh, well, you know what? At least the road is clear this time. That is a major, ooh, okay, yep, a little bit drifted in there. Not too bad though. Okay, let's, uh, let's get some, let's, Let's actually get to make it some money. This is this is weird. I'm not used to making money on this series. I am uh, used to just spending it and going into massive tripling amounts of debt. But hey, you know, maybe maybe we're turning a new leaf. OK, we are turning a new leaf and uh, we're going to start making money with this farm. <laughs> oh, wait, I was serious. Well, I give up. I give up. Actually, you know what? Hold up. We might be able to like lay down some salt or something because this is just one layer of snow. Ooh, the salt might be able to actually go and make it to where all of this disappears. <gasps> Hold on. I gotta go, uh, I, 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 I gotta go, I gotta go get something real quick. All right, well, so my idea worked. Um, I was able to go get a salt spreader. Some odd reason, um, everybody didn't want me to spread salt on the way here, so I had to wait till we got to my land to do it. But, I can now officially keep up with the snow as it accumulates. So, that's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, let's get around here. Oh. Uh, oh, I feel like a new man. Oh, this is amazing. You know what? Hey, who want, who wants a little bit of salty rye, okay? There we go. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't I do this sooner? Oh, I could have just been doing this the whole entire time. If I would if if I would have thought of this earlier, I would have saved myself so much headache. Oh, it's not even funny. Oh, I mean, it is kind of funny with how much I've been struggling, but still. Oh, this is nice. This is, this is really nice. This is our final load of rye. And well, I will be honest guys, driving in the snow sucks, right? It is not enjoyable whatsoever, but we're quickly getting done with it. Let's go jump in this uh, train. There we go. Words. Difficult. And uh, get this thing loaded up with some rice so we can get it sold off. And at least make a little bit of money for right now. All right. Get this up here. Ooh. Stop. Thank you. All right. 352 thousand liters of rye eh, eh, it's just a little bit of rye it'll be all right though we, we we'll, we'll be just fine well this definitely is not ideal um we're, we're gonna have to rent another train for fifty thousand liters <sighs> really not ideal really not what i wanted to do but you know what it is what it is and uh let's see how much we make off of well this train Look, ooh, that's gonna be a big drift of bust. Okay. Yes, I wanna sell it there. $240,000, okay. 
you know what? I'm not gonna complain. Um, I'll I'll go I'll go get that new train coming. While we wait on that second train to get here, I noticed that they are uh, also buying oats at the best price around. So I ran up here to the house real quick, and I am going to fill up this semi load or this semi with the rest or all of our oats and then uh we'll also get those sold off at the same time so uh two two trains for two crops i guess or or you know whatever i don't know i was i was trying to be witty okay and it just didn't work out don't don't no uh, -uh. quit looking at me in that tone of voice yeah yeah you uh-huh i see you Time to sell our second train load of the day. Okay. Yes. <gasps> Ooh -hoo -hoo. We are up to 387 grand. I love it. Okay. Now the really long cold walk home begins. And uh, while I'm on the way, I'm going to call those guys. and Or I'm going to call uh, the guys over there at the sale barn and see if they want my straw. If they want my straw, they can come get it. Because uh, I'm not I'm not driving any more in this than I absolutely have to. All I know is that I'm going to pick up my one load of bales that I'm pretty sure I'm going to need. And then they can have the rest. So I guess I'll eventually figure out how much they're, they're going to pay me for it. We yeah, I should probably be talking to them right now instead of you guys. So I'm going to give them a call and uh, we'll see how much we make off of it. I really really <laughs> wow these guys the grain mill okay if, for those of you that don't know where the grain mill is it's it's right there it wants it wants my dried corn I, I... <laughs> all righty then i guess we will drive at the 10 feet but right now we have five hundred ninety six thousand five hundred fifty one dollars I don't remember how much we had when we last talked. I really don't. But may, I, I feel like we've made almost two, three hundred grand in our uh, straw selling, roughly. But yeah, no, they are over there at the house now grabbing all the straw bales and getting them sold. They already kept me the check for them. So we should be... We shouldn't have to worry about them at all. They're setting aside 20 bales for me. And now all I have to worry about is getting this dried corn over to the grain mill, which is going to be nice. All right. Oh, come on. I know the snow's deep. I'm not. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, Semi. OK, come on. Come on. We don't we don't have that far to go, bud. You should be good. OK, good. Good. You made it. All right. How much money are we going to make off of this? Alrighty. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, we might be able to get out of debt today. Ooh, we might be out of debt today. Nice. I'm pretty sure that right. I'm pretty sure this right now we're officially out of debt. And that's without, you know, actually. Hold on. Come on. Oh, don't be froze up on me. There you go. But, uh, yeah, I think that if the back tank didn't take us out of debt, the front tank's going to take us out of debt. So we're out of debt. We, we have we, we dug out the farm and we dug out of debt today. Nice. Oh, that is painful. That is so painful. Oh, we are back to being broke. We're back to having 16,000 or oh, hopefully we can get up to roughly a hundred thousand dollars. That'd be, that'd be wonderful. We can end the day with that, but I don't. Okay. Maybe, maybe. Dear, wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. No, no. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah, no. Good. Unload. Unload faster. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, that is, mm, that is happiness right now. Oh, that is, oh, that is so much happiness right there. Oh. Just, just keep climbing, keep climbing. 
Oh, I'm so glad you guys told me to do this. Oh, I am so glad you guys told me to do dried corn. We still... We're still making dried corn right now, guys. I don't think you guys realize that. We still have more dried corn on the way. This is... Yeah, hands down. Smartest thing I've done so far. Other than buying the Steiger. <laughs> oh, yeah. $266,000 on top of getting out of debt. You know what? I had to move snow. I got really mad earlier. And I'm not joking. I got really mad. But we have nearly 300 grand over our debt. All of the heartache and pain today was totally worth it. Now, it's time for me to go feed the cattle and uh, relax. Yeah, because we don't have anything to do for the rest of the winter. This is awesome. Today, guys, we're going to be selling some cattle because the prices have came back up. They're about 1200 bucks a head. And, well... I went and serviced everything, and we are down to $170,000. Oh, and I may or may not have bought a used piece of equipment that you might be able to see in the background there. But, um, yeah, we, we, we need to make a little bit of money, and, well, I don't think we're going to have enough silage to be able to feed our cattle for, you know, a long pr period of time for the prices to increase. So, as of right now, we're going to go sell some off. Wow. They have yet to come out and fix those signs after that bad storm. Um, but for now, we... Oh, hey. I forgot bales out there. I forgot about those. Um, but we need to go get these cattle sold off because they're too big. They're eating too much. And, well, we can't physically sustain them for the length of time that we're going to need to get a better price. So, we just have to get rid of them now. Get some smaller cattle in here. Get some four weights, five weights, maybe. And, uh... Ooh, you! I really need to get a new semi. The brakes on this one suck. But, uh... So that way we're not going to be going through as much feed. Because right now... Ooh, it is... It is very, very difficult to keep up with them and keep them fully fed. But... After we get these guys sold off, we'll probably be doing some field work, so stick around. Maybe uh, maybe you'll like what you see. So we sold off our load of cattle. We made 72 grand, and uh, we then bought a load of cattle, and that was 48 grand. So in total, we made 24 grand off of those, this load of cattle. Uh, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. Um, hopefully these guys are going to be going through less feed, but as of right now, that 24 grand is definitely going to be helping us because, well, we need to, well, we'll probably end up buying a lot of lime and we're definitely going to be spreading a lot of manure today, guys, because, well, we have a massive pile of manure that needs to be distributed, I guess you could say, on, in the fields. And if we wait till tomorrow to do it, it's not going to be too ideal because, well, you know, it's it, it's planting time. And I, I don't want to be, you know, planting right on top of freshly spread manure because then it's, it, it's not going to seep into the ground as well. So, yeah, we need to get that done now. I was talking about a uh, little piece of equipment that we bought that was used. Well, we bought this TH-1400 for, I think... I, I can't remember the name, the actual name of the planter that goes behind this or the unit that goes behind this, but it's 18 or I want to say 18 meters is twice as big as ours. But uh, this was on sale and the, the, the unit was not, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, I made sure to get this because I do plan on upgrading and if, well, you know, if, if I could save that much money just getting the unit and having it sit here for a little bit, that'll be fine but 
Now, this is that little uh, piece of equipment I bought. I do plan on getting the planting unit that goes behind it, but, you know, I'm hopefully going to see it on sale here sometime. I'm going to be able to scan the webs, you know, find it, and hopefully it'll be a lot cheaper than what it is brand new because I, I'm so sick and tired of paying all of our profits to, you know, the bank. And, uh, well, hopefully... If we're able to find it used, we'll be able to save a, save a little bit. This is our third tank of lime. Okay, that's I know that's not a lot, but we. this is our third tank just doing our third headland around, well, what are the field numbers? Field 10 and field 4. Okay, I, I truly don't know if we have enough lime to actually do all of our fields because all of our grass fields are super low for their ph so they're gonna need a lot of lime to actually you know get up to where they need to be because even with our renting we still we're still renting three grass fields right there just because that's how the lease worked for that land and i i didn't realize that until he told me about it so I think I might have gotten swindled a little bit, but you know what? If we're if we're renting it, we're going to use that land. OK, we are definitely going to be using those extra fields. Hmm. But right now, I. I think we're going to be losing a lot of money today, unfortunately. But hopefully, hopefully we can get some of this manure, this excess manure that we have sold off. But I just I just need to find a trailer to transport it. That's going to be my my biggest battle today, because our little trailer that we have for running silage back and forth from the field out. Yeah, no, that's not going to cut it because oof, we have we have a few million liters of manure just sitting there in a pile. Oh, hopefully somebody is selling it for or is buying it for a semi-decent price because yeah, that's that's a lot of manure. Oh dear, Lanta. Um you know, maybe I should start um liming that field a a, a, a little bit more often. Hoo -hoo -hoo. That was a lot of lime. Ooh, that field is whoa. Now I understand why that field did not uh yield so great yeah it's starting to come together now this was full when we started this had sixty thousand liters in it when we started and we are down to having three thousand liters left in it oh we have spread a lot of lime today oof we still have those new fields that still need to be limed and they're gonna need a lot of lime Oh, yep, it's going to be an expensive day. It'll be a very expensive day. Oh, oh, that was painful. Ooh, 25 grand just for lime. Oh, dear Lord. That is so much lime. But you know what? It, it, it's for the farm. It's, it's, it's for the farm. It's going to make it's going to make everything work better. I just I just have to accept it. Oh, I did I oof. It's so much money. Oh. Maybe you know what? Maybe we'll start turning a profit this year. <laughs> oh, I hope we do. I hope we start turning a profit. Well, we are finally done liming. I did not expect it to take us until one o'clock in the afternoon to finish out, but it did. Uh, now we need to go fire up the stagger, go plow our um, cornfield and get that set up to where we can start spreading manure there. And then we will plow the cornfield, spread manure on the cornfield and all of our grass fields. And then we will try, hopefully, if we have enough time today, we will get the uh, manure sold off. I don't know why I didn't use this for you know, our, our soybean field. But I just remembered uh, we have this other, you know, plow that works very well. And 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know why we actually spent the money on that old plow, but hey, there you go. <laughs> oh well, we need to get this whole entire field plowed under because it needs plowed since we had corn in it last. And then we will come back and spread manure on it, get the uh, nitrogen levels up, and we sh should be done for the day, roughly? I don't know, but we we have, this is a big field, all right? This takes a while to actually get plowed, so it's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a very long day. Maybe I shouldn't have bought lime, because I, I truly wasn't thinking and I didn't think about the amount of rocks that we'd be pulling up plowing this field. Um, yeah, we have a uh, rock field 2.0. So uh, we're definitely going to need to pick these stones before we uh, go and spread out the manure, which is fine. It shouldn't take us too long. Um, we can go, we can go at a pretty decent clip with our rock picker. So we should be able to knock this field out in a fairly decent amount of time. So, eh, I'm kind of curious to see how many rocks we pulled up, though, because it seems like there's a lot more rocks on this field than previous times whenever we have plowed this field. So, I don't know. I don't know what that means for the uh, state of the field, but I guess I guess time will tell. Yep, I'd say we got a uh, sufficient amount of stones off of that field. Whew, it was like 26,000 roughly. 26, 36,000, somewhere in that area, liters of stones. And that is a lot of stones. I don't care who you are. So now we need to go get this manure spread out here, which, I mean, kind of a stinky job, but somebody's got to do it. And I'm surprised that we really haven't had much accumulation of the snow today, which is nice. It's just kind of been blowing, blowing around which isn't too bad you know it's it's pretty manageable with it just blowing around like this so ooh, come on come on 4b make sure you get it properly spread around but um now we mainly just need to go ahead and get it spread out on all of our fields and hopefully either this time or next time we'll be able to sell off our excess manure because there will be excess okay we have we have a massive surplus of manure. Like, I'll, I'll show you guys when we get back there. The, the pile that we have by the old, uh, I think, I think it was, I think it's a sheep barn. I think it's what they used it for. I think, I think that's what the old guy used it for. But, uh, we, we don't have any sheep. So, yeah, I just decided to pile it all over there. And, well, it's kind of out of the way. But it is taking up a lot of space. Oh, Come on, get up the hill. Let's go. Yeah, this is this is probably gonna take a little while. We're probably gonna be working well into the night on this one. Did you guys think I was joking when I said it, there, there's a massive pile of manure here? Yeah, no, I wasn't joking. Um, yeah, there's there's a probably a few million liters here, or at least a million, if I had to guess. I yeah, I uh. Yeah, this is a full bucket, and we're barely making a, a dent. Oh, we're going to have so much access. And then we still have all that over there. This is... Hmm, it's a lot of manure. I, uh... I think we're going to be able to make a pretty penny off it after we're done. You know, I knew it was going to be a late night, but I did not think that I would be spreading manure at... 8 o'clock at night. I really didn't. But we got the cornfield done. We have the grass field by the house done. And now we are working on the grass fields over here. Ooh, it's It's been a long day. We have done a lot of stuff. We've sold some cattle. We've plowed the fields. We've limed all of our fields. Well, basically all of our fields. And We've spread manure on pretty much all of them, but two or four so far. But by the time we're done spreading manure, it'll be but two. And well, it's it's going to be an even later night. 
but I think we're going to call it right there, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hopefully, which I, I, I hope you did, make sure you click that uh, thumbs up. You know, maybe even leave a comment. Tell me what you liked about the video and uh, consider subscribing because if you've made it this far, you most likely will like the stuff that go on that, that goes on on this channel. OK, so oh, come on, turn around. Oh, 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 come on. You would think that I'd be getting a little bit better at doing this with how long I've been spreading the manure today. But hey, you know what? I didn't miss a spot there. We're going to be selling some more cattle. We're going to be definitely selling our manure. And, uh, probably selling our cedar as well. Because, well, I want to upgrade to the Terminator, which, you know, is the planting unit that goes behind the, uh, well, this. But, uh, well, we need money for that. And, plus, I noticed that our new cattle, a significantly less than our... The cattle that we've had here for a little while so we're going to be getting rid of this bunch of cattle on this side and potentially completely filling up the feed yard we might uh you know go buy enough to fill in that pen as well after selling off both of these guys but you know we're selling them for six dollars or less head than we did last month so eh, we're probably going to take a loss for it but oh well you know it is what it is and also, we need to get a uh, trailer for this semi so that we can uh, get rid of some of that manure. But, yeah, it's going to be a busy day. We're going to be planting, selling, probably talking to the loan officer at the bank. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a very jam-packed day. So stick around and uh, let's get to work. I think we lost just a little bit of money. I think we lost maybe four grand, I think roughly in that area. But, uh... The feedlot is full and well now i need to go get this trailer off the semi but these guys eat the weeds down and uh we'll get them some feed as well but then it is time to go get a trailer for the semi and get all that manure sold off so uh yeah it's gonna be, it's gonna be a pretty eventful day all right, so we were able to rent a uh, belt to make it to where we can um, pick up the manure. And as you guys see right over there, we also have a uh, trailer that is a little bit bigger than normal, but uh, it's going to make it to where we can do all of our selling within a couple trips. Now, the nice part is that, well, all we have to do is go to the BGA and the BGA is literally just right down the road back behind us. So we should be able to save some time with the driving and especially with the bigger than normal trailer. So those cattle are fed now and now it's time to get you filled up and uh, run down there to the BGA. Cause I think the BGA is just right down by the, uh, Railroad crossing, if I remember correctly. All right, there we go. Okay. I will happily take that. That is... $17,100-ish. Yeah, I'll take that per, per load. I mean, shoot, it was just sitting around not doing anything. So, yeah, let's get all the rest of this manure sold off. So, we have sold off three quarters of a million liters of manure. And I think we have like 40,000 liters left over. And we're really not gonna worry about it too much. Um, we made roughly, I wanna say, well, 50, 50 grand, I wanna say. I, I don't know, I wasn't keeping track of the initial amount of money that we had in the beginning. All I know is that we've, we've made money, okay? And now it is time for me to one, tell them to come grab their trailer and uh, get everything paid for on this. And then we need to go talk to the bank and get that planting unit. Oh, actually, no, we need to go sell our planting unit in town and hopefully we'll be able to hopefully we'll have enough to pick up the uh, planting unit that we need. If not, we'll talk to the bank to uh, hopefully get enough to last us until July whenever we sell off our soybeans, because 
Once we sell for soybeans, we should have enough money to pay completely for, like, c according to my math, which is usually wrong, we could buy a brand new planting unit for our planter, but, um, you know, we're, we're not going to have the money for that right now, but once we sell off our soybeans, we will. So I'm kind of just spending the money I'm getting later now and having the bank to cover for it. That's probably not a smart way to do it, but I need to do it that way. Yeah, but hopefully this rain will stop and uh, we can get to planting here in a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much. It might get too soupy in the fields to actually get out there and get anything done. But right now, it doesn't matter because we need to take all of this into town and uh, get it sold off. So let's go get some selling done. Well, after what seems and felt like, you know, haggling for the whole entire afternoon, which is exactly what I did, we were able to actually get a decent price for our seating for our cedar and actually made it to where we didn't have to talk to the loan office at all to buy this oh you no oh, why did you pull out in front of me okay let's squeeze in there there we go but we have about well we have thirteen thousand five hundred seventy two dollars left over so hopefully that'll be enough to sustain the farm until we're able to sell off our soybeans. If not, I'll talk to the uh, loan officer then. Other than that, it's time for us to get back to the <laughs> back to the farm and get all of our planting done, which I think is going to go considerably faster now. Well, I I definitely need to talk to the loan officer. Um, we're out of seed. We're almost out of fertilizer. I'm just... I'm not allowed to get ahead, am I? Dang it! I was... I was hopeful. And, well... I, I guess... Like, you know what? We'll get ahead one of these days, I guess. Alright, so we were able to get roughly... We were able to get enough seeds and fertilizer to last us a while. I don't know the exact numbers and the exact amount, but you know what? Here you go. You can see them in the bottom corner. But now we are roughly, you know, $400,000 in debt. And, uh, yeah, I was, I was doing my best to make sure that didn't happen, but is what it is. It happens. But you know what? I'm, I'm okay with it. We, uh, we, we, we're improving the farm, right? We'll, we'll eventually start making money sometime maybe i finally decided what we're gonna do we're gonna plant corn in this field okay and we're gonna go plant corn in the grass field here at the house and we're gonna use that for silage this field is all gonna go to the dry corn and then we're gonna go in field 10 we're gonna plant oats and in field 9 we're gonna plant oats as well and then field four and 31 are gonna be soybeans. So hopefully this works out. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about it, but you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be hopeful. Okay, that's, that's the best way that we can put it. We're gonna be hopeful that this is all going to work out in the end and be all right. Holy cow. This thing is massive. Whew. I think we got the Steiger. Wow. Yeah, we should have enough power for this, but, uh, you, you never know. All right. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're golden. Barely even noticed that it's back there. Perfect. All right. Let's get to planting. Okay. Maybe... Maybe I was, you know, a little deceived because we were going downhill, but uh, going uphill, you definitely notice this, this, this plant, this cedar right behind you. Um, yeah, she actually is making the stagger work. And uh, I'm not used to that. Oh, this thing is massive. Like, this is our second headland and 
Yeah, we're doing four passes, or basically two passes in one pass. I, this is, <laughs> you know what? It may have, it, it may have made it to where we went in debt, but we'll be able to pay off that debt with, you know, the save time and the save fuel. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I'll, I'll never be able to get over this. We're on our third pass right here. Our third pass and we are we have maybe one or two more or not we have three or four more passes to completely complete this edge of the like this side of the field this is insanity oh i did not know what i was missing out on oh this is oh this is a game changer Oh, why did I, why didn't I buy this sooner? That's what I want to know. Why didn't I buy this sooner? As I've been sitting here planting, I've kind of been paying attention to the uh, levels in the tank. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> we are, uh, we're, we're going through everything pretty evenly. And I don't think we're going to have to fill up before we move on to the next field. We might have enough seed and fertilizer to do this whole entire field in this planter or cedar, I should say. I, <laughs> this is awesome. I feel like half the time with our old cedar, we would literally be sitting there fighting it just because we would run out of seed and, and or fertilizer. I, oh, uh, this is, this is something that I should have done a long time ago. In all reality, I should have done this a long time ago. We we would have saved a lot of time and a lot of a lot of effort. Oh, this is so nice. Also, um, quick little uh, you know, personal message from 4B. If you guys are liking the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing. And also, go check on the community tab because uh. We've been getting a lot of gifted memberships lately, and you guys might be missing out on some content that you didn't know that you're missing out on, because it is currently Sunday, and this video is coming out on a Friday, and uh, I'm recording this with the members right now. So, yeah, check it out. See if you have a membership. You have a membership? Come hang out with us on the weekends and watch these videos be made. Well, I was wrong. Um, we're... We're definitely going to have way more uh, seed and fertilizer left over. Um, <laughs> we were at, what, 47 and 53, if I remember right? And, yeah, we did not go through very much seed or fertilizer to finish this field off. All right, now let's go refill it up because, well, I know we're going to have more than plenty for, well, this field because this is our next field that we're going to be planting in oats but i'd much rather just go have it full and have it always be full just in case you know maybe uh we do some contracts to make some money because now that we have this i think that's a viable option because we'd be able to get some contracts done pretty quickly you know i can honestly say that it is almost comical the 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 size of this cedar in this little field it is <laughs> it's just your lanta we're gonna make like what eight passes and completely plant this whole entire field it, <sighs> oh i know i've said it and i know i'm probably sounding like a broken record but why didn't i do this sooner oh this is nice it is so, so stinking nice. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that that was a perfect pass to get everything done in one final pass. Minus these two little spots that I missed over here because I turned too wide. All right, let's get you turned off. And we actually we would have had enough seed and fertilizer to do this field. We'd have been left with like four, two percent and four percent. But regardless. We got everything planted. We got a massive cedar now. And uh, yeah, it's it's been a good day, even though we have spent a lot of money, which was not ideal, but it is what it is. 
Um, yeah, I am. I'm kind of. I'm kind of happy with this. This is nice. And we got more cattle. So, all in all, today was a good day. But it's not time to plant corn. And it's not time to plant soybeans. So we're going to call it a day right there. We're going to be really busy. We're going to be planting our corn. And, uh, well, those fields that we're renting right now. Well, uh, there, two of them are ready to go. And... I, I may or may not have a special little project for them, but I need to wait for all the equipment to show up. And I got most of the loan approved. Yeah, we're over seven. We're almost $800,000 in the hole now, and I am not excited about it. But you know what? Hopefully this idea is going to pay off because if it doesn't, I'm going to be a very sad boy. But regardless, we are getting rid of our uh, grass field over here at the house because we're going to be using this for purely silage. Okay, This whole entire field is going to be going into our bunker once it is done growing. Now, oh, come on, get around there. Okay, and so we're going to plant this field and then we're going to plant the big field over there in corn and then... You know, later on, once everything shows up, we'll go mow some grass and, uh, you, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys when that stuff happens. All right. So stick around. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up, consider subscribing and let's jump right into it. Oh, I need to spray weeds too. Ooh, almost forgot about that. The one bonus of planting a small field, it doesn't take very long to plant. So we're done getting rid of our uh, grass field that has not been performing the way that we want. And uh, now it is time to top everything off and get over here and get this big field planted that is going to be going to the dry, f uh, the dry corn or the corn drying f facility. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, corn drying facility. So I'm going to go get some seeds in this, get some liquid fertilizer in this and we are going to get this field planted. Oh, come on. All right, so I just got a text message from the guys at the shop and our stuff has showed up. So I need to send that money over to them to have them bring that stuff out here. And uh, we're also gonna be getting rid of our balers today. Yeah, Um, we've been meeting to get rid of them. We, we don't use the second one anymore, so yeah i'm gonna have those guys do that while i keep planting out here and hopefully we will end up you know getting some uh you know i actually end up making money today it, you guys will see in a little bit oh that was a painful check to write i'm not gonna lie but they are here and we are done and uh well thankfully we sold our uh other Bailers because well uh yeah yeah we we needed to sell them to actually afford everything um yeah you guys are probably wondering what we're doing but uh I'll, I'll show you when we get up here all right I am we cut that one close I think we only had like 25 liters in there but I really wasn't paying attention I was more excited about coming and getting these yeah that's right we're gonna be doing some pellets guys we have the primos you know that this will actually pick up the windrows and make them in directly into pellets or we can put bales in here that's why we ended up getting the bale shredder and uh we also got a new baler yeah we are slowly starting to modernize this farm i was hoping to do our you know combines first but well I realized how much pellets are and uh well yeah we're definitely we're definitely gonna be selling pellets so we're gonna go and we'll get that put away first and then we're gonna jump in the uh swather and we're gonna go do what field numbers are they 37 and 38 and then we're gonna windrow them together and we're gonna make some pellets but yeah hopefully this ends up working out because that was that that was a absolutely massive loan that we got to be able to afford all of this 
now, um, let's go see if we're actually gonna make money at this. Hopefully we do, but you, you never know. Oh, I am nervous. Oh, I wonder how well this field's gonna perform. And dear Lanta, it is performing way better than I thought it would. All right. Definitely cannot complain about that. That is one heck of a hay windrow. Okay. Hopefully this, hopefully this turns out to make a lot of pellets because, well, I think the pellets are selling for about the same price as our, um, wheat. And I'll be honest, um, yeah, we, we're definitely going to be, uh, doing some wheat from here on out or something that makes a lot of straw just for the pure and simple fact of we're basically going to be getting two crops off of it. And that's going to be awesome. And that's going to make us twice the amount of money. Because something that we need right now is money. <laughs> oh, one of these days I'll make money at this farm. I hope. One thing that I can honestly say, this swather never disappoints. It oh, We are always able to get the job done in a fairly decent amount of time. Yeah, because that field only took us like... 15, 20 minutes to actually get done. So I am actually surprised about that. But at the same time, it is a very small field compared to, well, the fields that we have been doing. Now comes the rough field. And let's see how well we can get through this. Oh, so bouncy. As I've been sitting here mowing this, I've been, I've been having a, a thought. Um, I remember a, another field that we had that well this little tree line was or a tree line similar was in um hmm hmm maybe we could do the same thing that we did to that field to this field no gain a little bit more grassland i think i think that's a good idea i don't know you guys let me know what you guys think is that a good idea to knock out this little tree line right here or shoot maybe we'll knock out all the trees and just combine all of these grass fields together. That sounds like a good idea to me. I don't know. What about you guys? Is it a good idea? Let me know down in the comments below. Okay. That did not take very long at all to finish up the second field. Now it is time to, well, first of all, we'll run back over this and get that little spot of grass conditioned as we're leaving here. There we go. Now, we just need to run back to the house, pick up the windrower, and we should be able to get all the stuff windrowed up pretty quickly, and then go ahead and start making some pellets, and hopefully making some money, because they're, they're selling for, for a pretty decent price, if you ask me. I know we usually use the white to, to go out here and, and, and make windrows, but I'll be honest, with the distance that we gotta be driving, I'm surprised with myself by using the, the, wait, what are the numbers on this one? The 7250 Pro. I am, yeah. <laughs> but I'll be honest though, 27 miles an hour, getting to these fields with how far away they are is a lot better than what in, what we do in the white. Cause I think the white only goes like 20, 25, something like that. Actually, no, I know it's not 25, but it is. It, oh, it takes forever to get to these fields in the white. That field over there? Yeah, um, that was really easy to mow. Not so easy to windrow. Yeah, who who would have guessed that uh, pulling a windrow that's bigger than the, the mower that we have would make it difficult to, you know, turn around in some of the tight spaces that, you know, the zero turn windrower could turn around in. Yeah, um, maybe, maybe I should have thought about that as I was mowing. Yeah, I, I didn't. That was that was kind of a pain in the pain in the rear. But you know what? We're on the bigger field now, and uh, we don't we don't really have to worry anymore. It's gonna be nice and open, and shouldn't be too too bad at all to actually do. Well, that outside windrow was kind of a pain, but you know what? we're we're able to get it done. Now it is time to sneak through all these windrows without ruining too much hay, and. Uh, well, we're gonna take the windrower off of this and we're gonna bring this tractor back, but we're gonna have the uh, Red Rock trailer on it. 
And we're going to jump in the MX and bring over the, I, I can't remember the name of it, but the pellet maker. And we're going to start making some hay pellets. I'm kind of excited for it. Well, the Red Rock is over at the fields. The MX is filled up with fuel. Let's go, uh, let's go see how this Primos does. I'm, I'm kind of curious. And hopefully we can make enough money to where we can actually survive until we sell off our soybeans. Because, uh, whew. Yeah, we are, uh, we're, we're a little tight on the money, money side today. Well, I mean, let's be honest. We've been tight on money for the past, what, five years? Six years? Oh, yeah, it's been a... It's been a grind, but you know what? I feel like we are getting closer to actually making a profit at this farm. Or that I'm just going to keep lying to myself and we're not ever going to make a profit. Who knows? Either one is highly possible. Ooh. Turning this thing on really made this tractor start screaming, but you know what? I think I'm, I'm pretty sure we got enough. Yeah, we got enough horsepower to do this. And look at that, guys. We are making pellets. Oof. Not very fast, but we're still making them. Wow. All right, that's just that's just really good money pouring right in. Okay, I will I will happily take that. Okay, it's not running too bad. Um, I don't like the RPMs that it's making us run at, but. What, what can I do? I can't, I can't afford to get a bigger, better tractor. I mean, and I'm not going to hook the Steiger up to this. All right. Let's, let's, let's not get crazy here. I, I think the MX will be able to handle this just fine. Well, we got roughly 19,000 liters of pellets off of this first field, which is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Um, considering that it takes like, I think four liters of pellets to make one liter uh, or four liters of hay to make one liter of pellets. So yeah, um, I'm kind of surprised that we that we were able to get that much for pellets off of this field. Yeah, 19,630 liters of pellets. That is awesome. I'm kind of curious on how much we're going to get off of our uh, big field because this field is considerably smaller than the other field. In, in all honesty... 19,000 liters of pellets at almost $700 per thousand liters? Um, yes, please. That did not take very long at all. We, uh, we filled up the Red Rock pretty quick. So we have 44,000 liters of hay pellets. Um, now we need to take this into town. And I think the, uh, sell point is... I think right across from the uh, um, animal market. So we should, we should be able to, to, to make a pretty profit off of it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll actually be figuring that out here before too long. After I swing through my neighbor's, you know what? I'm not gonna be that kind of neighbor. He, he's letting me rent his land from him. So I'm just gonna take the road and I'll take the long way around. All right, I am genuinely curious. How much are we gonna get? Hopefully they're okay with it just being loose. I really hope that they're okay with it. <laughs> oh, mama. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just keep going. 40 grand? Okay. Yeah, I am. Yep, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> oh, that is some quick and easy money. Yeah, within a few years, we're going to have all of that equipment paid off by itself. Like, just in the profit that it's made us. I mean, granted, we're going to have it all paid off this winter, but still. That is awesome. Well, I would say that that was uh, kind of profitable. Yeah. We've already sold off one more trailer and we're at $104,000 now. We have one more trailer to sell off 
or not full trailer, but partially, I guess you could say. Uh, bring that down. Maybe we can get it to reach. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. There we go. Just gotta, just gotta be really, really finesse it in there. All right, should be good now. Once we get all of this unloaded, we'll be able to go sell off our final bit of uh, pellets, and I will be running into, or I'll take this back to the farm first, and then I'll get this hooked up to the sprayer, and I will spray the weeds off camera. Because, well, let's be honest, guys. You, you, you've you seen me spray weeds how many times? Yeah. You, you, you know, you know what I'm doing. I am celebrating the whole time because, mmm, I love killing me some weeds. Oh, I hate them. All right. This is our last little bit that we're selling off here. Ending total is 129,444. So I think that means we've made roughly a hundred grand today, which is a lot more than I expected to make. Oh, that is, that is awesome. So, oop, oop, let's get across there. Oh, oh, ho, ho. I'm gonna go buy a lottery ticket because I feel like I need to now. Um, is anybody sell lottery tickets here? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think anybody around here sells them. Dang it. Oh, well, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different than what we have been doing in the past. Uh, we actually got a call from one of the neighbors and well they want us to do some bailing for them but i told them they're gonna have to wait you know we're gonna we're not gonna get to it first thing in the morning um we need to get our fields planted because it's supposed to rain here in a little bit and then we'll go around and get all of the uh, mowing done for them that they need done but yeah today we're gonna be planting up our uh soybean fields which is just field 31 and field four and the fields that need to be done for uh mowing is 36 and five well five's just right around the corner and 36 is down by all of our other fields that we are currently renting right now um so it, it shouldn't be too much of an issue but uh it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get that uh grass dry i'm i'm really gonna have to crank down on the crimper for the uh Ooh, come on, get around this corner um, for our windrower. So, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get it dried down enough to where we aren't uh, a fire hazard. But, hey, who knows? We will have to, uh, you know, really pay attention later on down the line whenever it comes to us bailing it. But that is a problem for future 4B right now. The only problem that I have is getting all of these fields planted before the rain comes. So, uh... I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna get to planting. Well, that didn't take us very long at all. Just need to go fill back up and get some uh, seeds in here and we should be able to go plant the rest of our other field. And we'll be done planting for the spring. It'd be nice. Then we can worry about getting onto our contracts and actually making some money. I think, I think he said he's gonna pay us like 25 grand to do all this. And all the extra bales that we're going to get are just going to be able to come right back to us and be fed to the cattle. So that will definitely be nice. The part that's not going to be nice is I got to do more math and figure out, you know, exactly how, um, how, how, how much, uh, extra we got to feed now. Yeah, because I have a feeling we're going to be needing some extra uh, silage to make up for the size difference in our bales. All right, let's come over here. Let's get the uh, motor started up on this auger, and we'll get to uh, filling up with seed. Well, the rain's not forecasted to start for another hour. We could attempt to go get number five done, but I, I don't want to get it mowed and then have it rain. Because, well, they, they deserve to actually get some decent hay. Not soaking wet hay. Um, uh, I don't... 
I don't know. I'm going to have to go try and figure out how long it's supposed to rain for, like, and how much rain they're forecasting. And maybe, maybe we'll be able to do it later this afternoon. I don't know. There is potential for it, though, so I'm, I'm going to stay hopeful because I, I really don't want to, uh, you know, have to tell him, hey, I don't, I, I'm not going to be able to get it done today and then have to make him wait till tomorrow next month to get it done so i don't know here's to hoping that it doesn't rain too much well looking at the forecast it is supposed to rain all afternoon so we are <laughs> we're gonna see how quickly we can at least get one of these fields done because mm, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult getting both fields done so we're gonna run down to uh field five we're going to get it mowed and uh, then go windrow it and see how quickly we can get this field done because I, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to give them bad pay. I really don't. So, oh, this is going to be difficult to do, but you know what? I, I, we can do it. All right. I, I, I have confidence in myself and let's see if it is misguided or not. Well, 25 minutes to get this uh, field done. I'd say that's not that's not bad at all. Now we just need to get it windrowed and bailed before the rain gets here, which is definitely going to be cutting it a little bit close. But you know what? I think we can do it. I definitely think we can do it. And if we don't get to the neighbor's field today, we'll get to it tomorrow. All right. That's just going to be the way that it is. I'll have to let them know, and if they don't like it, that's fine, but we'll be down in that area regardless, because I'm I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure our fields are going to be ready as well, so we might be doing a lot of haying in this video, which, you know what? It's a great day for hay. It's, it's May, so it's a great day for hay. Let's go. Mm. Sometimes I forget how much quicker it is to windrow all of the windrows from the windrower. Oh, that's a lot of windrowing. Um, from the swather. There we go. Yeah. Windrow all of the windrows from the swather into, uh, actual bigger, more manageable, um, windrows because, well, that was fast. That was, that only took us like 10 minutes to do. A lot faster than the, uh, you know, 25 minutes it took us to cut it. So, hey, bonus. That means uh, we should have enough time to get everything bailed up, which actually I'm kind of excited about because I really want to use that new baler that we just got. And uh, I haven't had a need to because, well, we made pellets last time. So now it is time to run over here, jump in the MX, and, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. This is the model that has the blinky blink on top. Dang it. Um, can I, can I get rid of you? I hope I can get rid of you. Oh, you know what? I, I don't have time to, to get rid of you right now, but I, I will be getting rid of you. Okay. I have tools and, and you will disappear. Hopefully, unless, unless there's a sensor that says you have to be there. All right. So we have it set to 240 or 240 centimeter bales. So, let's see how well she works. Okay. Not... Seems to be picking everything up pretty well. MX is handling it well, which I kind of figured it would. We're able to bail at a pretty decent clip, which is really nice. That's going to make it a little bit faster getting all of this done. Okay, we, we have completed our first bail, and it appears to be properly tied, so everything is in working order. That is good, because uh, I, 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 I was kind of worried, you know, that... Because, let's be honest, right now would be the time that, you know, I would find out that I got a defective bailer, or that something was wrong with it. But, uh, yeah, no, it appears to be popping them out just fine. All right, sweet. Let's get this contract done. Let's make some money. 
we were able to get i think 24 bales off of this field which is kind of surprising it's not that big of a field but also these these aren't hestons so they're they, they look like there's little baby bales but they're not they're they're normal sized bales so it's it's kind of crazy but um now all we need to do is just get them picked up get them all sent out and uh I think we're supposed to take this to the, uh, bill. Yeah, to the, yeah, to the animal dealership. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I gotta, I gotta give him a call and figure out exactly where we're supposed to take him. The uh, rain is supposed to start here anytime. So quicker I, I can get this done. Now, I'm, I'm confident that this baler is, you know, compacting the bales tight enough that the moisture is not get, going to get inside the bales and ruin the bales but at the same time um you know nobody likes having their bales rained on let's be honest um now where is the semi uh oh there you are okay so let's go get hooked up to the trailer and get out there and start picking up some uh, bales this is definitely something i'm not used to um we're, we're able to fit 24 on this trailer. <laughs> well, that's that's going to make life a little bit easier. We can fit more bales on this trailer. I guess that's one bonus to not having Heston's, but I, I wonder if we're still fitting more liters on this bale. I don't know. I'm going to have to do a, I'm definitely going to have to do some, you know, math, which I, I should probably go get my calculator for because lord knows i'm i'm not good at math so i called up the manufacturer like i called case and uh i asked to see what the literage on the bales was eight thousand liters um we are fitting more hay into these bales than we did with our uh, heston bales so that means that this stuff is packed tighter and is denser so you know what I'm glad that we upgraded. I really am. That means that, ooh, let's make it around this corner. That means that uh, we're not gonna have to really change too much when it comes to uh, making our bail or making our uh, TMR, which is gonna be nice. So good news after dropping off those bales, um, he actually got such a uh, great yield off of that. Like we, we, we sent so many bales back that uh he's ab above quota and it's actually counting for our next contract so that means that we're going to be able to keep more bales off of our next field so hey <laughs> you know what things are starting to look up it is the next day and well fields are looking well Mighty harvested, I should say. Yeah, they already... It's 8 o'clock, and they already got that field knocked out. Man! They are putting in the work! Oof! But, uh, it ended up raining all afternoon yesterday. And it was, uh, not very enjoyable. So, we talked to the owner, and they said that, yeah, no, it's perfectly fine if we go in and mow today. So we're going to mow our field and their field and then get everybody situated because, uh, yep, just like I thought, our field is ready to go. So, yeah, it's it's a wonderful day for hay. Let's do it. I am going to be honest. I'm glad we didn't buy this field. Uh, it is. Mm, these windrows, I mean, they look good, but they're kind of patchy on that backside. Yeah, they don't they don't look the best back there. Ugh. But I'm actually kind of excited. Now that this field is properly taken care of, I'm I'm kind I'm kind of curious to see the uh increase in the yield. Alright, so let's drop this down, get her cranked on. Is she doing any better? Yes and no. Okay. That it that, you know what? We'll, we'll just look at the map whenever we get done and see if it looks any different. There we go. That is a little bit more definitive proof. See, see kids, that's that's why you properly take care of your fields. That is a massive upgrade 
in uh you know the actual yield of this field oh it is nice we're gonna get we're gonna get quite a few bales off this field oh and then all the extra bales are gonna get off the the field next door oh it's gonna be wonderful we might be able we might actually have enough bales to run the to, to, to do pellets on that on those fields again hmm I like the way that sounds, because an extra 100 grand would be nice. It'd be really nice. Well, I can truly say that it took us longer to do our field than I think both of the uh, fields that we're getting paid for combined. But that also makes sense with... I mean, just look at those windrows. Just look at the windrows that this swather laid down. They are... Oh... They're, mm, they're, they're nice, big, chunky, and we're going to get a lot of bales off of them. So I'm going to go grab the windrower, combine all the windrows up, and uh, get, get get to baling. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited. Ugh, I love hay in season. It's it's the best. I don't know why I've, I've been lacking on it so much lately. Oh, I was starting to get dizzy there towards the end. But we are done with our windrowing finally okay it's time to go run the new baler i am i'm excited to go run that baler oh but you know what i feel like i haven't shown you guys like doing a lot of work today so uh why don't we why don't we time lapse it once we get over there how's that sound Does that sound good yeah let's do that
I gotta say is oof that was a lot of bales Whew. and I gotta work on this this baler I'm not impressed with this pickup header because it, it it seems to miss some maybe uh it, maybe something's just out of adjustment I don't know but regardless we need to go grab our uh semi and at the bare minimum get the get enough bales picked up to actually complete our contract and once we get that done uh we'll get all the bales picked up off of that field at least and move over to the house and probably call it a day is uh i'll be honest with you guys this mx oh she she rides kind of rough and my back's hurting me and oh it feels like it's already time to call it a day okay i'm not gonna lie I really wasn't paying attention to how many bales we made on this field, but okay. I, I could have swore we made more than just 10. Really? We're going to, well, I guess we're going to go waste the fuel to get there to go sell these 10. <sighs> All right. <laughs> and with that, we are, uh, we're done. We're done with all the contracts and we made an extra eight grand bonus so uh yeah i think that is gonna be it for the for today i need to go pick up our bales and uh take them back to the house but we are we're, we're gonna be calling it there it has been a long video and i'm ready to just go uh you know relax so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you hit that thumbs up consider subscribing and uh, also consider becoming a member and check to make sure that you're not already a member because we've had a lot of gifted memberships out come out lately. And uh, well, you could have you could have been one of them. So make sure you check on that, because if you if, if you are a member, you could actually watch me record these videos live. So go 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 look into it. But with that one, guys, I will see you all in the next one. Later.